All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the continuation of the Press F to Play Bingo Tournament here on Twitch.tv slash Banjo Race. We got an exciting matchup for you tonight. We got Garage Door Opener going up against German Steve here in Winner's Round 3. The winner guaranteed in the money for this tournament, while the loser has to continue to fight their way to glory in the loser's bracket. Who will take it today? Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a good Saturday so far. And let's go ahead and undefin and Incoming. ask mm -hmm. how are our runners doing today? I'm doing awesome. Yeah. I'm doing I, great. Yeah. Feeling the power. <laughs> We got Aaron joining us for commentary today. Yeah, what's up? It's going to be a very pog time. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're going to have a really exciting uh, matchup here today, most likely, from GDO mm -hmm. versus Steve. We can't wait to I see I sure hope happens. so. <laughs> okay, runners have the first seed. Are both you guys ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we will not prolong this any longer. Uh, excuse me. All right, we will start game number one in three, two, one, go. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right, and I will pull up the card as soon All right. as I get the timer started. Gotcha. Boom, 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 boom. And I got to get GDO's oh, right. audio really quick. Uh, okay. There we go. All right. So here is their first card of the night, Aaron. Anything hmm. that you notice? Anything popping out to you so far? Chat, I believe, <laughs> has had access to the card for quite a while now if they are in the Discord. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, if you guys aren't yeah. in the Discord, it's time to just get in the Discord. Feel the power. <laughs> A banjo race. It's a good bit of Cheeto Page and Honeycomb goals on this card. F9 has two train goals. Mm -hmm. We got Bring the Train to Icy Side as well as Bring Train to TDL. So mm. some, yeah, some Falcon, old who King would... Cole synergy there. Nice. We've also got five yeah, can... Jiggies in GGM <laughs> with seven in GGM in F1. Oh, yeah. And that also has a bring train goal, so they could combine that with Old King Cole. Yeah. It's like GDO struggling a little bit at the beginning, getting blue Klungo. Not what you want to see in a race, because he's not going to be able to go for the Klungo shot. Yeah. Looks like Steve got red a potion. Iffy. Yeah. Yeah, GDO, he did finish Klungo a little bit faster than Steve. However, GDO is miles away from the door. Mm hmm. Dengo says they like F1. Icup says F9. I do like F1. I just hate the fact that they have to do Saucer Apparel. Just yeah. I'm a really big fan of that goal. Mm -hmm. And I think it dissuades a lot of people from picking this row. Yeah. You just spend so much time in Witchy World that you don't need. So Steve is ahead of GDO coming out of Klungo. Not by much, but has the lead for now as we go into Red House Jump. Ooh. And Aaron, what have nice. you noticed about these uh, bingo matches that, you know, just make you think we're in a different bingo meta than what we saw last year? Uh, is it just like with the amount of just goals? In general, or... Just in general, like mm -hmm. what have you noticed? Like what if what stood out to you about this tournament compared mm -hmm. to the last one? Uh, I think just really like row picking is like important because if you don't pick a row that's like synergizes very well you that can be like an instant loss in a way but you are correct the row selection this time around is pretty crucial in fact even more crucial than it has been in previous tournaments yeah and speaking of row selection that would be a great time to look to see if anybody's chosen anything 
Steve has already selected F9. So he went the I up route. He decided to go with F9. Gio yeah. has also chosen F9. Nice. So we've got a mirror match as we head into Wooded Hollow. There we go. Now what's going to happen? We already see. Oh, we already got a split up. Yeah. Yeah. GDO going for goggles. GDO opting for the Amaze Gaze. Steve going straight for White House Jump, getting up there. Yeah, GGM Jiggies plus the Bring Train goals. Obviously, these guys can now mm -hmm. opt to do Old King Cole as their seventh Jiggy instead of Canary Mary. Yeah. With that innate synergy. They've also got no, a lot CCL. of pretty easy goals otherwise. Double Air, Notes and CCL, JRL Jinjo, mm -hmm. six Cheeto pages. A really tough thing is going to be bringing the train everywhere and killing all the Minjos. Yeah. But, uh, nothing too terrible, I don't think, in F9. I do think we are strapped in for a long round one, though. This is a yeah. very, very long card. The row looks hot. I mean, it has synergy, but it's a long. It's a lot of long goals. Yeah, especially with getting that train to icy side. You got a free Gobi. You got to get the snowball. And then... Yep. Yeah. You are right. Got to do double... I mean, they're going to open up three train stations. You're right. They got to do the snowball transformation. They got a free Gobi. They got to hit Gobi once it's on fire side. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got a lot of train riding, and that means we got a pretty long bingo ahead of us. That is true. Double air for, for JRL. Double double air for JRL will be nice. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we're going to see a DCW from either Steve or GDO. There's just no reason really to do it. Because they don't have to get... In fact, this is maybe the first bingo we've seen in the tournament where... Once they're past GGM, they don't need any more Jiggies. Which yeah. Which is pretty crazy. We've seen a lot of tournament matches where a lot of Jiggies have been required. So, yeah, hopefully neither of these guys opt to DCW. Mm hmm If we see a DCW revoke their bingo licenses. True. We could see the Ice Train Minjo as the sort of... Uh, end point of their route. It could be number 13 yeah. as they ride the train in there. Definitely a possibility. Steve picking up some time uh, coming out of Jiggy Wiggy 1 on GDO just because Steve opted not to go for the goggles. Um, yeah. Which makes me wonder for GDO, did he just get the goggles from Minjo Snipes or is he actually thinking about a DCW? I don't know. Hmm. If they yeah, were going to sure. DCW in this row, Aaron, where do you think would be the best place to DCW even? Mm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe like credits, they could uh, get that Cauldron Keep Minjo. That is possibly. true. There is a free Minjo in Cauldron Keep. You're not wrong. Yeah, but that's really the only place I could see. The maybe. only other possibility I could think of would be maybe Terry. Like, yeah. they go to Terry and they... Why is Steve getting this? Oh, for his six Cheeto pages. That actually makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to Terry, you can drop down and hit the train station switch uh, relatively easily. Uh-oh. GDO, GDO how to reclimb the rope. <laughs> I think he forgot to flutter as he came inside. Yeah. But hopefully we don't see a DCW. I mean, I can't imagine that's that's the way to go. Nah. But, yeah. I mean, with going underwater, although here oh. we go. I mean, GDO, GDO is getting, getting detonator. detonator. So, who's to say what happens? <laughs> Steve looks like he's just running around getting stuff for build drill. I mean, yeah. this isn't bad from GDO because GDO will have access to... A Jiggy here doing detonator levitation that he needs. 
Yeah, that is true. Instead of coming back with Clockworks. Just don't know if it's gonna be necessary. Yeah. Steve getting these jiggies now. Yeah, I just don't know what GDO's thinking here. He has not changed his row. He's definitely still going to do F9. I just don't know where he's thinking of going. Cauldron Keep yeah. does make sense. I mean, it is a free mm -hmm. Minjo. With 13 Minjos, you can only skip five, I believe. I think there's yeah. only 18 Minjos in the game. Yeah, there's 18 total. So, yeah, I mean, if he's trying to potentially skip JRL ones, which I don't know why you would, because you're getting Jinjos in JRL, so. Yeah, you got to go down there. You're all the way around there. Maybe skipping some GI ones that could be slow. Mm -hmm. The other thing we have to watch out for this match, Aaron, is Steve mentioned that he has been crashing a lot. He says he's gotten yeah. a lot of cart tilt over the we last couple of weeks. Yeah, he was talking about that before we started in calls. So, and we'll see about that. that. Doesn't come to bite him in the butt, but yeah, we would hate to see Steve lose this match to a cartridge tilt. But according to the rules, there is nothing to save him. If that happens, yeah. he will be subject to his own demise. Exactly. All right. And that's Steve's second GGM jiggy. <laughs> Thank you, cool boy. <laughs> Why would GDO open up Canary Mary? There's no reason to do Canary Mary when they're already doing Old King Cole. That's like giga giga slow. Mm -hmm. No. For seven, you just come back in and do Dilberta and then do Old King Cole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's just no reason to do Canary Mary. Yeah. It's way, way, way too slow. So both of our runners now heading over to Waterfall Cavern. Steve is going to go ahead and clear the timer and grab mm -hmm. the train station warp. Oh, and he's not even going to go in. Huh. I guess he can just choose to go in whenever he wants. He's going to go ahead yeah. and lift the train. Hmm. I mean, I don't hate it. GDO did not get the warp pad. But he did get a jiggy. Yeah. I'm wondering what Steve is thinking. Because surely Steve is going to do both Flooded Caves and Waterfall Cavern, but maybe there's a instance where Steve only does Waterfall and then drops into the water storage room to grab another Cheeto page and a Treble Clef for notes. Oh, that is true. But these guys don't even really need a whole lot of notes for this goal. In fact, these guys, I don't even think they need... They might need Clockworks to access some Minjos, but other than that, the row almost doesn't need Clockworks. Yeah. So, GDO a couple jiggies ahead, but Steve has moved progress on his train goals. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's true. Even though, technically, you don't need Clockworks for uh, CCL Nuts, but it definitely helps. <laughs> Getting inside as the bee is uh, pretty AIDS. Oh, GDO hasn't yeah. even gotten bill drill yet. Okay, GDO going for shoes jump. See, does he get oh, it? Uh, the nope. angle was not good. Uh, yeah. They. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, they because can't get w. every... Yeah, they can't get every... I guess there's how many Minjos in GI? There's three. Not, uh, counting the, yeah. not counting the toxic waste meme one that we get in JRL. Yeah. There's three. So yeah, yeah I mean they could potentially skip all of Quagmire. 
I mean, Steve could. He would have to get every other Minjo everywhere else. Which would yeah. be pretty crazy, but it is doable. I don't know how much that's worth it, but... It could be. Not going to GI at all could be pretty nice. And then I don't think you really... I, I, at that point, I don't think you even need Clockworks. Right? You're going into Ice Train to kill that one. So, yeah. uh, I don't know that the row needs Clockworks. Oh, he would have to get the one on top of Quagmire, though. Yep, you're right, Condi. Yeah, so oh, he's going to yeah. go into GI. They're going to go into GI. Mm -hmm. They're going to need Springies. Although, GDO won't need Springies if he is DCW to Cauldron Keep, which is what we think he's going to do. Yeah. That's sort of what we decided. Yeah. I just don't know if the DCW is worth not getting 80 notes. Mm-hmm. 80-ish notes, at least. Yeah, having to set up all the detonator stuff, and yeah. I just don't know. Yeah, that's right. GDO would not need springies if he's going to credits. Okay. GDO's up to five. So GDO is done with his first trip unless he decides that he's going to lift the train right now. Yeah. And oh, Steve with a is. bump. Oh, GDO did tag that warp. I don't know when he got it, but he got it. I guess he did. Do oh, I think. Juice. Yeah, I think he went to tag the warp and then go in the waterfall caverns. Okay. With the speeches. So. So right. he's definitely done a lot more than Steve. Steve is just opting to save a lot of it for second trip. Once yeah. He's, once he's got grenades and stuff. Yeah, because uh, Steve didn't go into Waterfall Cavern yet, did he? Uh, he opened it. It's cleared, mm -hmm. but he did not go inside. Oh, okay. Gotcha. He might be saving that for, for double air. Do the oh, fast you're one. probably right, Aaron. He's definitely saving it for double air. Yeah. yeah that's like a nine second time save or something, Ooh. I think. All right. Steve grabbing another Cheeto page. Getting his notes. Well, I didn't even think about double air. That is so smart. They have to get it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, using double air in those caves. I, th I think Cole said it's nine seconds when we timed okay. it for the 100% route. I think it does save nine seconds. So yeah, good on Steve gotcha. for remembering that one. That's pretty good. Yeah. Steve doing the Beak Bomb setup into JSG. We love to see it. Oh, wow. Nice. It worked. Pretty good. <laughs> it's not even double air true. <laughs> Okay, GDO going out of his way to grab Royston now. <laughs> point 0.8 X air. Or 1.8 X air. <laughs> Ooh. GDO making sure he's lined up because he right. did not have grip grab yet. Yeah. To do that, skip twice. And oh, is he going for Spiral Mountain Cheeto? For the Cheeto. Hmm. I guess it works because you're in Spiral Mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Both runners at two now. Nice. Dropping Royston in the pool. <laughs> oh, oh God. that angle. This is the lag. Oh. <laughs> This is the giga lag angle. Holy, <laughs> the camera's even going in and out of the water, too. Oh, my now God. Now we want to see, guys. Oof. 
And yeah, Steve's done that was pretty MT. rough. No. Now, GDO with the first goal on the card, but was it worth it? Not sure. He's a whole level behind hmm. now. Yeah. Although not really, right? Because he did a whole ton of stuff in GGN, so. Yeah, that is true. Interestingly enough, Steve did not do Dilberta. Steve did co-chamber and left. Even yeah. Even though he's got to come back to MT. I think he's going to come back with Clockworks, though, to get the small waterfall cavern and, um, yeah. let's see. No, that makes did sense. Did he do, did he do gen cavern stuff yet? No. Okay. No, the only thing Steve did, uh... No, Steve did... I think Steve should have two Jiggies. He did do okay. Gen Cavern and Power Hut, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Because why would you do one without the other? Yeah. All right, he's going to go for Star Spinner Minjo. Yeah. It's a good one. Especially with 13. Should definitely get the two in Witchy World. He's going to come over and get it. I don't know if he knows the There you angle. go, Steve. You used hey. the gold feathers. That's what Let's we like go. to see. Even though the <laughs> grenade shot on this star would have been much faster. But he yeah. uh, fell off. He slid off. He didn't want to do it. What? What is he going to clockwork shot, Condi? Small waterfall, right? Or were you saying he's going to clockwork shot one of the jiggies? Uh... Did anybody hear that audio from freaking GDO's cart right there? Yeah. Did anybody else uh -oh. hear that? <laughs> I didn't hear that. It was like I'm watching the absolutely stream. Absolutely demonic, like witchy or Isla Hags. <laughs> Steve did do Gen Cavern. I know for sure mm -hmm. Steve did at least Gen Cavern, so I'm assuming he did Power Hunt. Mm -hmm. Wait, Steve gonna go for Torch Jump here? No, or... he's freeing Gobi. Oh, right, right, right. GDL yeah, I think you have to do that with Cheeto DK. Page, stays in flight. Nice. Yeah, I almost forgot about Gobi. Alright. Uh, uh, I didn't get him. Whew. Missed the padlock. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to go back and watch the VOD for that glitch sound. Yeah, I don't know what it was. It just was like... <laughs> it, it sounded like a, like a monster laughing because of how pitched down it was. <laughs> oh my god. Like, her, her, her. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. Idiot misses. Idiot missing. He's yes, gotta set early. this up again. Oh, that's a little low. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. Yikes. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Alright. <laughs> Steve with Minjo number two. Right, and he is done with Witchy World. Yep. Done with Witchy World before GDO gets out of MT. Mm. Now, Steve should go get... Steve should go get a uh, double air here. Before he goes yeah. to JRL. And he is. Nice. I wonder if he'll get the Cheeto page here too. Yeah, so right now oh. I think Steve is there way in the lead at the at, for the time being. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Falcon. Like I remember the one with PG. Mm. He was like going to go fight Klungo one. And the audio was like super distorted. <laughs> like twelve from PG. Yeah, he was like starting a run and like did speed choose in the Klungo one. Cause yeah, I'm sure PG's had his fair share of audio glitches. Hmm. 
<laughs> GDO's got a video of me somewhere at uh, either AGDQ 16 or 17. And I have like, hmm. I have like twinked out Isle of Hags HFP music. <laughs> outside it's like half of the it's like half of the bits turned into bites and it's like uh. like outside <laughs> nice oh nice gd with the first code. try code yep, see he's opting to do this now so he might be getting his ggm stuff i way think out he's of gonna way. be done yeah i think he's gonna be done gdo is most likely gonna opt to call the train instead yeah. of ride the train mm -hmm. or at least well they're both gonna ride the train at some point because they have to ride it to icy side but i think yeah. steve is going to kill cole and then bounce from train station to train station whereas gdo yeah. is most likely going to kill cole and then call him to the locations before yeah. hopping on himself so gotcha. GDO's up to six and now he's heading to the train station to finish up. Hmm. HFP now? Yeah, I don't hate it. Just grab some extra notes, grab some easy minjos, and get your uh get your train station set up. Yeah. I don't hate it. That's true. So he can get Grotto and he can get Coliseum right now. And he can yeah. also set up both of his train stations and then save and quit. Oh, there you go. I, I yeah. like this route from Steve. I don't hate it. GDO doing Old King Cole with grenades. But like we said, he'll be done with the uh, level. Mm hmm. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it just seems like right now, like, Steve is so far ahead. Just being out of Witchy World. He's into his other... He's into another late game level here. Mm -hmm. He's already fit, freed Gobi, done all his Witchy World stuff. Steve climbing up for his train stations. And now GDO should be heading to Witchy World now. Whoa. Yep, yeah, right. grabbing call, see him. Oh, yeah. Yep. Cheetah page. Definitely a good one to grab in this row. There you go. Oh, Steve! Uh, not getting the switch right now. Hmm. Yeah, uh, this is a little confusing for me. He, he might oh, be splitting oh, he up. he wants to get solo K. He wants to yeah. take solo K to the train station switch so he can drop into Coliseum. Yeah, yeah, and then death warp. That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't hate this. This is fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Oh yeah, well GDO did get goggles, so he can finish Switchy World over there in Space Zone. Not have to. Oh yeah, I forgot. The gondola. We, we've got a complete different route coming for GDO. I forgot he set up the DCW. Mhm. Mm it's really gonna come down to did the DCW matter? We got one yeah. Minjo dead for GDO. As Steve drops into Coliseum for his third. Nice. Did GDO name the 
the tag that was bad. Yeah, he's gonna split up. Yeah. yeah. So now Steve should be heading over to do snowball. Now, if Steve mm. is giga smart here, he will take the snowball into Grotto and kill the other Minjo. Because it's oh, on yeah. the ground floor. You can kill it as the snowball. Yeah. And he could even do that after doing the train station switch and then save and quit. Yeah. Although Steve is waiting for this freaking flight pad here. Mm hmm. I guess did Steve need Globos? Is that why he stopped? I would have just gone Maybe. right into Bumbos. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, there's an old clip, I think. Leslie from like two bingo tournaments ago. Yep. I think there's a clip where Leslie does that. Yep. You're absolutely right. It was I was rewatching those recently. <laughs> yeah, I think Steve just turns into Snowball right now. Yeah. Oh, I like go. it. Yeah. So GDS Freed Gobi is coming over for Star Spinner. He's got the goggles. Ooh, that counts as a kill. Nice, nice. Yeah, because the only things you need from Icy Side here are snowball stuff. So. Steve going over the water. Although he's kind of got a bad angle here. He's yeah. got full health, though. He should be fine. Yeah. All right, and GDO has set up his uh, ECW. We'll just have to see where that nice. takes him. Yeah, I would assume credits. I think but... you're right. I think credits is right. Oh, Steve isn't oh. going for Grotto. Steve ends uh. the reset on the ice. So we got two resets here. Yeah. <laughs> so Steve nice. opts not to get Grotto. Interesting. Which means he won't get it ever. Yeah. So that's kind of one that was... I, I don't know. I feel like he should have gotten that one, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, Steve might be getting some JRL Menjos over the Ice School Grotto one, but I don't know. GDO Depends on if he goes in the GI. To... Sorry, answering chat. GDO won't want a DCW mm -hmm. until he can afford Clockworks. Yeah. So he still has quite a bit of note collecting to do. Yeah. And then Steve going in the Jero. Nice sign. Yeah. Now we've got some Jinjos and some Minjos to grab. Ooh, and a few more notes also. Yeah, so you didn't get a whole lot of notes of HFP. Not the end of mm -hmm. the world, but... He did get the 20 outside, so that's like the freebies. Yeah. Okay. One Jinjo down. Now, the good news for Steve, well, for GDO, is that Steve has to do Klungo too. But GDO still has to learn Talent Torpedo, so I'm not sure how much of like a time loss it really is. Yeah. Mm. Mm, is Steve gonna grab sub aqua? Yeah, he is. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if he was gonna do teeth from surface or not. Oh, maybe he's <laughs> gonna get this maybe Minjo. He is gonna do teeth from surface. Mm. If he's not coming back and doing Jolly. Yeah. GDO gonna go ahead and split up here. Oh, and then recombines. J 
changing uh, his I'm mind. A little confused here by what GDO is doing. Yeah. He might have thought maybe to run around and solo K, but then maybe thought it was just better as BK. So. Yeah, your eye cup could be some nerves. Steve. Both of these guys do have the ability to just sort of dive down here. Yep. And he is not getting sub aqua aim, so we will see. Yeah, no sub aqua, so surface. we are going to have to see T from surface. And then we have to see does he come back to do UFO ninja? Yeah. Steve, Ooh, you have double air. Just, just go for it. Don't, <laughs> don't be slow. Huh? Steve gets turned around. Uh, He's swimming the wrong way. He might have been backing up. He's probably a little nervous here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there we go. Okay, that gave some time to GDO. Yeah. GDO surely isn't going to get tagged by the Inky three times. Surely. <laughs> Hopefully not. Sure. It surely won't happen. <laughs> yeah, GDO's. GDO's popping off. He's done the swim. Nice. So nice. Steve could die to eels here. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Ooh. Oh, he plays it safe. He hugs the wall. There you go. <laughs> okay. Man. And, you know, GDO didn't get... Uh, GDO did not get sub aqua either. Yeah. Did he get the Toxic Waste Ninja, or...? No, he did not. Not yet, okay. at least. Yeah. GDO does have the goggles, but to be honest, I don't think the goggles really help that much with teeth from surface. Because mm -hmm. the only time you're yeah. really going to shoot the teeth are when he's coming underneath you. You're not going to try to snipe the teeth. Oh, Steve going for this Trouble Clef. And the Jinjo. And then I think he's going to go for this uh, Menjo and swimming baths. Yep. It's bad RNG here, but he's got plenty mm. of time to grab it. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Yeah, fun fact, guys. If you uh, blow up that Jinjo box as your talent torpedo expires, uh, the Jinjo doesn't spawn. And then you have to restart your game. Uh, well, you don't have to restart your game, but you have to leave JRL and come back. And it's uh, pretty oh, wow. good. So, <laughs> don't end your town torpedo on that Jinjo box. Or it could yeah. be fun. Okay, we got another Binjo kill there from Steve. Looks like GDO is doing the exact same. Mm -hmm. It's a good one, especially since you have double air down uh, here. We are going to see two teeth from surfaces at the same time. Oof, should be interesting. Hopefully it goes well for both runners. Killing the ninja with fire eggs. Yep, we got the I don't double, think I've double fire. seen that before. <laughs> Somebody say double fire. GDO does have four grenades for teeth, but he could pick up a nest right here, plus two more inside Sanctum. Yeah. 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 There's a good there's a good grenade nest. Well, you have the two right there, but like one is like as soon as you enter it goes to grenades by the time you get it. So he should be good on grenades. Yeah. If anything, GDO could just opt not to grab an extra nest and only be down one grenade. So Yeah. The end of the world. Yeah, this one here on the right. Nice. There you go. Steve gets double full. All right. Okay. Steve will be the first one to attempt the shot. Let's take a look. He's already got one, but he missed all the ones he really needed to get early. Ooh. Oh, he's just not Ooh. hitting them there, and he's got the two on the end. Probably the two worst oh, no. ones to hit. Ah. Uh... He got one. Okay. Right, dude? Oh, oh no. Don't. 
Oh god, the choke, the Ooh. choke. Oh, he gets it with the fire oh. eggs. Nice. I didn't even know you can get them with fire eggs. <laughs> yeah, you can get them with any eggs. Well, besides clock. That's you. cool. GDO using the goggles to his advantage. <laughs> gets the middle tooth. Oh, he really needs those two on the left. He's zooming out now. He's okay. also going to have the 710 teeth split. Ooh. He's got one. Okay. That looks good. Nice freaking Nice. Shot. Nice shots. Two two pretty good teeth from surfaces. Steve was a little nice. a little scary but makes it work. Uh technically that is an underbite. Got the bottom <laughs> jaw up like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Falcon. I was trying to put it in terms that Conditioner would understand. <laughs> All right. So, GDO death warping. He might be going back for the toxic waste. Okay. Minjo. We got all the Jinjos. <laughs> <laughs> and now, GDO's heading in for some Minjos. Yeah. And then I think we're going to see a DCW. <gasps> is DC, is GDO going to DCW into GI via Toxic Waste? That's what, I don't know. I was thinking about that, of him being over here. Oh, no, he just came for the men, Jack. Okay. I thought maybe he could go in and he could mm. grab, well, I guess without Clockworks, it's kind of hard to do Minjos. He yeah. Get, he can't get the one in QCE. Nah, he would. He can only get the one outside and well, the floor three. Well, escaping wouldn't be too bad because he could just do four four early. But yeah. All right. Yep. He is going to credits. <laughs> yeah, we wanted him to go to credits for the Minjo, so this is mm -hmm. good. Yep. The fight in Klungo two. However, Steve is. Uh, Steve is almost done with Klungo two. Uh. Oh, there we go. Nice. Steve is down with Klungo 2 before GDO even warps. Yeah, there was a nice egg shot there from Steve to find, find Klungo as he went invisible. Steve has done all of HFP1, but GDO has yeah. done all of GGM. That is true. The now with clockworks. So let's talk about the rest of these Minjos. We've got two here in Isle of Hags that they're gonna get really easily. That'll put him at seven. And he'll have mm -hmm. to get six more. So one will yeah. be ice train. <clears throat> one will be ice <laughs> train, one will be TDL train station. Yeah. And then, what else can they get? They can get Minji. Uh, Minji. Yeah. Uh, There's one in trash can. One outside of. Uh, yeah, there is one in trash can. I just don't know. If and there's one in pot of gold. Yeah. But I don't know if those are. GDO coming around the side to kill his Minjo. There we go. Headshot. Yeah, Pot of Gold is questionable just because of getting into it. I, I think if you can skip both, I would. I think I'd rather mm -hmm. spend more time in GI, but but maybe not. Maybe you just don't go into GI at all. Yeah. All right. He's going in to get these Steve sack pack notes. Oh! oh! Blows up right by the nest. Ah. Gotta send in another one. Oof, get to that time. Steve is at six Minjos? Really? Oh, yeah, he got the one in, uh... Yeah, thank you. He got the one in Wasteland. You're right. GDO just killed okay. Quagmire. I didn't even see that, too, so... Yep. They're tied on Focus Minjos. On the memes. Cole made my job <laughs> a lot harder as commentator. 
because now I'm actually <laughs> counting bullcrap. <laughs> It is a nice feature, though, like for the card. I like the whole being oh, able to tally way, up way your better stuff. For viewers and players, it's way, way, mm -hmm. way better. Yeah. Okay, there's number seven there for GDO. And it does look like Steve is going to go ahead and get these solo K uh, min Minjos. Hmm, and GDO going uh, into TDL. Did GDO get Wasteland Silo? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if he did, to be honest. Be he definitely got the Minjo, but I don't know if he got the Silo. Steve going to trash can now. But I think if nothing else, he has that Quagmire silo tagged, so he yeah, would just have to work the there and just, work just back. curious how much he had. Both yeah. These guys at seven Minjos. GDL first one into TDL to set up his train station stuff. Mm -hmm. And now, where is Steve going? He's gonna go to Blue Skull to kill this Minjo. Oh, he must have gotten Bad Skull. He I didn't, didn't catch that. Skull. Yeah, I watched it go into red. Mm. Okay. Oh, Gideon might be calling the train now. Because he has already defeated I don't hate Cole. him. He's got to call the train and he's got a free Minjo inside. So I don't hate yeah. him. I don't hate him going there. No. I wonder how many notes Steve is at. I guess Steve is like gonna be just fine with notes because he's got to grab all 100 in here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there's that. The ninja. And here comes the train. Steve making absolutely sure he doesn't get cucked by the yeah. <laughs> Nice. Steve is looking for the orange. Uh, you're not yeah. gonna make that. Uh, you're not nope. making that. Not in a million years. Well, he can go ahead and he get could have made that if he jumped from way, way, like, way further up on the walkway, but... Yeah. Okay, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. All right. He'll and just have to get a red exit. Done here from... Yeah, what he should do is just leave out blue, fly up to the orange. Yeah. Or he can leave out pot of gold too. Just leave out somewhere. I think mm -hmm. he's gotta swim for five more notes too before he leaves. Yeah. I don't know which water exit he got, but he got one of them. I don't know if it was Dippy or George. I think he got Dippies. You gotta still go get George. Oh, he might be getting this Minjo. Going in a pot of gold. Yeah. Hmm. Steve thinks that this is worth it. He got George, but not Dippy. Okay. Gotcha. Well, unfortunately, he can't get Dippy right here. Yeah. But he did go in the pot of gold. I don't see GDO doing this. No. Nah. All right. And death warping out a pot of gold. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's true. GDO got called from Keith. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Silent protagonist. Now, now Steve's got to go to the orange exit. Yeah. Silent so protagonist with the rate of five. Thank you for the red. Hog. Uh, nope, this is not the place, Steve. Oh, does Steve not uh, know where this actually is? It's he's below him, right? He's gonna attempt to jump again. Yeah, it's in the orange <sighs> entrance that is directly below him. But he's gonna go ahead and jump for this again. He's mm. gotta get the angle here. He, You can make this with a jump. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. This is much better for him. There we go. Nice oh, there you go. jump. That'll work. Just don't miss the, uh, the entrance there. Good. There you go. 
Okay, now I believe All right. as soon as he gets the ones in the water, he should be set. Yeah. He's just going to go ahead and death warp. <laughs> oh, Gideo also got bad. Oh, nice. You love it. Mm. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Steve Hepp and the is. Dippy. The Talent Torpedo. And then Steve should go back to GGM, I think. There we go. Yeah. Nice. He's checking totals oh. real quick. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate it. Nice. GDO getting trash cam in, Joe. So, yeah, Steve. Oh, Steve has to go to TDL, actually. He's yeah. He's got to still hit the train station switch before he goes back mm -hmm. to GGM. Or will he do GGM and then go to TDL to hit the train switch and call it in? Hmm. Good question. I don't know. Yeah. I think if you're already Guess in the we'll train, see. you want to just ride the train. Yeah, that is true. The TDL. Yeah. GDO is also doing pot of gold. Wow. Hmm. GDO also opting to do pot of gold. Yeah, GDO may I, not want maybe to Maybe these go guys into... are thinking of just never yeah. going into into GI. Although they yeah. have to, because they missed uh, UFO. They, they've got to go and get at least one. Although, well, technically, technically GDO doesn't. But Steve will have to. Yeah. At least to get the one, like, outside. If not going for, um... Right, GDO can still get all of his HFP. But Steve... Yeah, Steve only has two more in HFP he could get. Plus yeah. the one in here. So he has to go to... Well, I guess he kills the one outside in Quagmire. Right? Steve mm -hmm. hasn't gotten that one yet. Yeah, no. He hasn't been up to Quagmire yet. Steve taking Solo K over here to the Switch. Where are these guys getting Cheeto pages? I just realized, like, not, none of them have been mm -hmm. collecting Cheeto pages. Does anybody mm -hmm. know how many GDO has? I think, let's see, he definitely got the one by GGM, or GGM Entrance. He got Relic, and he got Spiral Mountain. And then I think that's it so far. Yeah, so I don't know if he's gotten any Steve, more than that. Steve could maybe get Floor 2 in GI? Just outside? Yeah. He could go for the... Oh, no, he's going for Dippy. Hmm. What? GDO could get all three in HFP. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, I totally forgot about Cheeto pages. <laughs> ah, you don't know. If I, I mean, I guess you're right here. Yeah. Uh, mm. what is this I think that's angle? a little high. Yep, lining up the two dots. Okay, there you go. That worked. Did not look like it was going to work to me, but that works. <laughs> oh, GDO yeah, missing. George clip. George clip. Missing again. He should have watched your tutorial, Aaron. Exactly. There we go. <laughs> Steve resetting on another train station switch. I like that. All right. Now he should go to GGM. That's all he's got. Or do. GI. Yeah. He's got to do GGM, ride train, ride train, ride train, and then <laughs> GI for him and Joe. Yeah. Or Quagmire for him and Joe, at least. Oh. Ooh. GDO making sure he doesn't get owned by the Zubs. <laughs> GDO's up here with BK, though. Mm -hmm. You can't make this jump as BK, can you? Can you There's get it with a no clockwork? Way. No, clockwork breaks. Oh! Oh, oh, I loved the idea. <laughs> yeah, I just did that actually did not. Did that actually work? Not enough momentum to push him into the cove. I oh, I forgot. The idea. I forgot he still has to do Dilberta as well. Here we go. And then get his waterfall cavern stuff. GDO just going straight down into the orange. Yeah, Steve has a lot in GGM to do. Yeah, I did forget about that. 
Um, oh, one more. He's missing five. Is, is it one of the water exits? Is this the... <gasps> Oh, and he dies! Gideo clipped the edge as he beak bus recoiled. Oh, oh He's gotta get back in the central heartbreak. cavern. Heartbreak, heartbreak. Oh wait, did he take the, oh yeah, he take the yeah, warp. Yeah, he's got the warp, but still heartbreak. Ooh, Steve not getting first strike code. Gideo, it's one of them in the, oh no, there it is. Oh, it's blue exit. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Now, does GDO just leave? Oh. Does GDO just think... fly into the Oh, he's still got to get a ninja? Oh, yeah, he's looking for a ninja. Yeah. Yep. You're also right. looks like Steve got third try code. Hate to see it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, GDO. I, um, I don't know. GDO has actually gotten a lot done here. Yeah. So GDO's got to go to GGM. Or no, 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 no. He's got to go to HFP. But G oh, he gets GDO the credit. is done in HFP. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he got sent to Jinjo. Or got sent to Jingling. GDO the is done in HFP, but he's still got a fair amount to do. Mm -hmm. Steve is choking right now. He needs to get yeah. over here right now. <laughs> Steve with only nine ninjas too. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's gonna be close. Did Steve even kill? No, he didn't kill the ninja in train station, TDL. Oh, because he reset out of there. Yeah, I think Ooh. GDO has this, to be honest. Although GDO does have to do two. Yeah, he's gonna get all three Cheeto pages in HFP. And he's got to yeah. do both train stations. Yeah. But Steve has got well, to do... I mean, Steve has a lot to do still, though. Yeah. And do, getting... Mm -hmm. Got to do flooded. Oh, and he died! Oh. It didn't have enough help! Oh. oh, my God. Big time loss here for Steve. That is oh my not God. good. Oh my god, he must have just had 3 HP. Oh, that sucks. That does suck. <laughs> oh Oof. my god, huge time loss here for Steve. Yeah. Well, I was thinking too, getting all three Cheeto pages is also good for GDO because there's a Cheeto page and Minjo in Icicle Grotto. So that yep. kind of fits together. There's a yep. Minjo right down here. <laughs> yep. So. And then his last one's but, an Ice Train. Yep. Actually, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Steve does have a lot of cutscenes left, but when he does Cole, he'll be able to ride straight into Cole. He's going to be able to ride straight from TDL back to HFP. Yeah. And then all he's got to do is hit Gobi. And he's mm -hmm. already got the flight pad switch open. And GDO still has to do snowball stuff. Plus get Cheetos. Yeah. Plus hit the train station switch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And hit Gobi. Yeah. He's going he's to train station now. I. This is close. This is a very close game one. Oh, God. Ooh. Well, so much for saving time with double air. <laughs> Steve just yeah. definitely choked big time right there. Dying mm -hmm. in waterfall. GDO has one train station done. I just don't know. How long is the cutscenes? Yeah. But see, oh, the other thing though is Steve isn't done with Minjo's. No, he still has to go up oh, to Quagmire. Oh, Steve isn't done in HFP. No, yeah, he yeah, still has to go wait, to Quagmire wait, to get ninjas. Nine? TDL will be 10? Quagmire, Grotto, Ice Train? Is that what we're thinking? Oh, GDO's already calling it to Fireside. Hmm.
Can Steve kill the train station Minjo with a clockwork from from the train exit? That's the real question. Can he yeah. kill it and get back inside? I don't know if it's possible. I'm just asking. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think. I think the more time Steve spends trying to kill Minjo's, the worse he worse off he's gonna be. Yeah, hopefully he wouldn't have to like climb up the <coughs> pole to get that Minjo. Right, yeah, because he's got to go back down to the flight pad. There's going to be big loading zone here. Big, big, big loading zone. Yeah, yeah, this one, probably one of the longest loading zones in the game, if not the longest. Okay, Steve is going to ride to TDL. Yeah, that is true, because then he's going to have to go back to the Fireside Station to go ride it to Icy Side. This is so close. Like, honestly, I Steve has a ton of ninjas still left to kill, but GDO is really not done yet. Like, nowhere near no. done still. Mm -hmm. GDO's going to get Grotto, Cheeto Page, and Icy Spire. He's got to get a Glide Jump. Steve yeah. has brought the train. Ooh. He's going for the Minjo. He's looking. Oh, <laughs> the perfect angle. Ooh. The perfect angle. He jumps back in the train. That's sick. <laughs> now Steve rides to Fireside. I just don't know. I just don't know, guys. Ooh. Steve has yeah, three this one's gonna be close. left to kill. I don't know why he didn't do Grotto as Snowball earlier. Because what is yeah. Steve going to get? He's going to get Ice Train above GI and then off to the side in GI. I mean, that's not the worst, yeah. but he's got to enter the level instead of can being he, like, done. Yeah, can he still, like, get that one outside GI without goggles? Yes, Would he yes. just have to he's go got, further, he, too? He has to go way far enough to the... Oh, GD with a bad angle here. Uh, oh, he's good. He's good. He's oh, good. He, he can make it. With a jump. Yeah. Yep. So he might end on that outside Minjo by getting close enough. GDO's got to de transform, though. And de transforming yeah. to Snowball is fucking slow as shit. Yeah. You have to take four damage and then go in and then de transform. Yeah. Steve! Get to the flight pad! <laughs> oh, he's gonna warp down. Yeah, oh can't say I. I mean, can't say I disagree. Yeah. I. I just don't know. I think Steve is dead to ninjas. Yeah. Yep, Steve doing what he should be doing here. Yeah, that is an awkward walk. It's just so awkward to get up to Gobi. Because you have to take the flight pad yeah, from all the way to Gobi down. Blows. Getting to Gobi blows. GDO's heading to Grotto. For Junjo and a Cheeto Page. Oh yeah, because GDO still has to jump up I to the I can't pool. believe it's this close with with GDO DCW. Oh. Oh, no, he's doing... Oh, he's trying to slip a bees up. What the hell possible? was that? What the hell was that from GDO? <laughs> no, was Where say, is, is he going? Uh-oh. Did GDO okay, just lose, like, this... a ton of time or what? Yeah, I didn't know slip a bees like that was even possible. All right, he's going to get this Cheeto. From here. Uh, oh, there we go. Steve is going to Icy. Uh, this, I don't oh. know. This is so close. It's not even funny. 
Yeah, because Steve just has to ride there, get the Menjo, save and quit, springy up the quagmire. Cheeto has to get the Icy Pillar Ice uh, Cheeto page, though. Wait, is he not getting the Menjo? I guess he no, he's getting the one at Ice Train. He's yeah. getting the one at Ice Train. Yeah. He just needs the yeah. Cheeto page. Oh my god, and mm -hmm. he spawns over here, too? Uh... What is Gio thinking for Cheeto pages? He's got to get Glide. Could he not just split up at the front? I don't know. That might be slow. Steve wins. Steve actually oh. wins. Oh my gosh. I don't know why GDO. I, I honestly don't know what I saw on the icy side from GDO. GDO mm -hmm. has not killed another Minjo, right, guys? Or he has not gotten the Cheeto page? Why? No, what oh. is GDO doing? No, he didn't get the <laughs> Glide Cheeto page. Or the. Yeah, but he's icy just going to ride the page. train? What is he thinking of for his Cheeto? Oh my god. <laughs> I know he just got his fifth. Where's number six? He's riding oh, the train! No. no, he can't get it. Yeah, what, he got what's the a quick Gito Cheeto? Geo can grab! Canary Mary 4, yeah, shut up, Alpha. What is a quick. <laughs> I guess he can do GI 4 2? Is that the fastest you can get from the start? Water storage? <laughs> Slumber, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steve kills this Minjo in the one inside, and he wins. I cannot <laughs> believe how close this was. Oh, my God. Oh. Ooh, uh, did he get the uh, Minjo? I am assuming he did. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming because otherwise he would have corrected. Yeah, because you could hear the Minjo. These All right, yeah, he's going to go get this one. I see train is brought. I think Steve... Steve what? has this. I mean, he's got it. He's wow. just got to not die and kill this Minjo. Here's the corner. There it is. Uh, Time. He gets it. Time. Oh, my God. What a bingo. Let's bring him in. Wow. All right. Oh. GG's. 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 Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what a mate, fucking bingo. I'm sick. That, that's a GGM. Holy fuck, mate. <laughs> I mean, there's a million things we could just talk about. You versus GDO. Yeah. Right now. But yeah, that was so close. GDO had one more cheetah page to grab, Steve. Oh, you, God. Uh, I forgot to talk. get the cheetah page when I was in TDL. <laughs> fuck, man. When I was entering GI, I was like, they're going to pull me in, they're going to pull me in, they're going to pull me in. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we were ready wow. to pull you in, but then GDO melted in fucking HFP icy side. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I mean, well, the uber meltdown. The, the icy side went <laughs> as planned, but I, I just didn't know how to... Because I wanted to get the Cheeto pages, all three Cheeto pages, because I was like, how else yeah. do I recover from this? But then I was never going to Upper Fire or Upper Icy, so I was like, yeah. Yeah. I guess I can get the one in Icicle Grotto. And then at the end, I was like, I just have to pray I can make it to either Floor 2 or... I was going to go get the one inside the mountain in TDL as my last one. And I was yeah. like, I just have to cross my fingers. I can make it there in time, but <laughs> no. God, my CCL was, was so it was bad. Like, it, was a tale <laughs> of, it was a tale of Steve's Minjas against your Cheetos. Yeah. Yeah. What, what road did you do, GDO? You guys both I did, did F9. Yeah. But I did GDO, really? F9, GDO yeah. DCW to Cauldron Keep. That's what I should have yeah. done looking back, honestly. <laughs> I, I was kicking myself so much actually, time. Yeah, I had to go to GI minjos. just for freaking just for uh, the Minjos. Yeah, I spent yeah. so much time thinking about Minjos that I was like, that I just kept walking by all the fast early Cheeto pages, and then when I got to like after my DCW, I was like, where do I even go for Cheeto pages now? Yeah. Like, yeah. Everyone else is kind of run out, and then when I went into TDL, I could have gotten that one, and then I forgot, and then yeah. I underestimated my cheetos. <laughs> what a game yeah, I sort of, <laughs> I sort of did at the big in the beginning as well, and I was like, well, I may just get them out of the way, and yeah, I think I was lucky that I, yeah, I think I was lucky that I did. I mean, I got some late game 
Cheeto pages, but I also I was even considering up up getting Pot of Gold Cheeto just because I was in oh, there God. and I was You're like, I was, and yeah, and I was in there and I was like, well, where else am I gonna get my Cheeto pages from? <laughs> That's Ugh. a good bet, man. Rough. Really, really good game one, guys. Go ahead. Yeah, and, uh, I was reset. I was so. I was so proud that I remembered to not do the fucking uh, water Cheeto pages in GGM until after I got double air. And then I didn't realize I only had three health and I fucking died when I fell down there. Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Really in the waterfall cavern, the whole, oh. everybody's demeanor in chat instantly changed. It was like, yeah. well, Steve's got this. And then when you died, everybody's like, well, GDS got this. Yeah, that's, so that's so why it ends the heartbreak. Yeah. that's why i did my uh oh, detonator God. stuff before waterfall because i was like i was like well i i had such a bad clungo because i was trying to read the card and dodge the clone so i took too much damage oh god blue potion i got spared this bingo with blue potion all right let's go ahead and take a quick two yeah. minute three minute restroom water break mm -hmm. yep. all right. i'll back. be right back and, yep, I'll uh, be right back. I'll pull a new seed and we'll get you guys going for game two. Ah, uh, no, EF, he did not. I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, I, I definitely think GDO caught up a shit ton with the DCW. All right, I'm back. I definitely, yeah. I definitely think the row was better with the DCW. I didn't think it at first, but after watching the route like kind of unfold, it seemed that way. I mean, I thought it's either DCW to Pot of Gold or, or DCW to, to Cauldron yeah. Keep. I was like, either way, it's a Minjo. But yeah. I had a, a weird, like forehead route for uh the train stuff like taking the train like calling the train in tdl and then taking it straight to hfp but i just never found a chance to go to hfp out of jrl so i was like i was like well i guess i'll just do all my train stuff at the, the end thing that steve benefited from was steve did hfp one where he set up both train stations he did yeah. that so early and Did he, he do it before he went to JRL? Yes. Yeah, I I considered that, but then I decided not to. Yeah, and so he had the notes that he needed when he needed them. Like, didn't have to go yeah. out of the way for stuff. And yeah. Yeah. But you, I like said on my practice the stream the you other were day. so far behind at the beginning just because you were doing all GGM and Steve was like, yeah, fuck this. One jiggy and I'm yeah. out. Or, I mean, <coughs> two jiggies and he's out. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I don't think that's that far. I mean, it's behind, but it's not really behind because no, there's no just, real way to yeah, speed them I up. I just meant, like, you other were than double air. him in terms of oh, yeah, progress yeah, yeah. through the other levels. Like, he was done with Witchy World <coughs> before you finished Code Chamber. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. he was already on his way to HFP. And yeah. And that stuff. I, I had a feeling he'd be way ahead after that because I thought there's no way Steve does like i mean he could do old king cole with grenades DCW. early but. but like yeah looking back like you caught up so much with the dcw i just think if you did like hfp in two trips maybe yeah because de transforming I... the snowball is like i don't know i mean it's like 30 seconds is, but yeah it just felt like it felt like an eternity yeah. in your hfp row see if i would have had one more cheeto in, after I detransformed, I would have went straight back to Fireside and then flew up to Gobi. Mm -hmm. And I think I should have done that because what I did on Icy Side was probably slower than going to two separate levels and getting Cheeto pages. Like, I could have just gone to MT and got the two <laughs> Cheeto pages with Clockworks. Yeah. No, and it might have been faster than running all the way to Grotto, but I don't know. Can we talk about how I almost fucking died on the swim with double air? <laughs> yeah. 
Taking a little too many shots <laughs> from the inky. I, I I wasn't used to doing the swim with double air, and I was like, oh shit, I need to mm -hmm. slow down because I'll run into Inky, but that oh, completely uh, messed me up. And then I was like, oh, I'll just squeeze past, you know, on the bottom, but he hit me twice. And I was like, fuck, I'll just swim back and just do it the normal way. <laughs> Did you do surface eggs? <laughs> yes, I, I yeah. forgot sub aqua, which I think won me the bingo in the end. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. I was like, well, if I fail this again, SHM is just going to tear me to shreds. Yeah. Well, yeah, you probably <laughs> had like another minute, probably. Okay. So learning sub aqua would have probably been okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it went fine this time. It was a bit close, but I, I yeah. got it. Like when SHM pulled us in, I was just leaving Jinglings. Okay. Okay. After uh, so save. After save and quit. Okay. Yeah. And I was on my way to TDL. Oh, man, I lost okay, so guys. much time in. CCL and fucking GGM. <laughs> Y'all the next seed up? I do, yep. Uh, yes, give me a second. 88553. Yep. Uh, yes. Fighting hard for a game three. Oh, fighting mm -hmm. hard to not have a game three because it's 2.15 Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Steve is up one game. GDO's got a reverse sweep to stay alive in winner's bracket. Good luck to mm -hmm. both of you. You Thank guys you. both ready to go? Yes. Yes. All right. We're going to start game two in three, two, one, go. Good luck. Good luck. Guys. Good luck, guys. All right. And I will reveal the card as soon as we get this timer underway. Okay. Yeah. I will say this is not a pretty card because we got elevator doors in the middle oh it's interesting have to get briegel bash briegel bash see <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> A lot of stuff so far. Some people said mm -hmm. F5, some people said F8. F8 does F8. look pretty nice. Mm -hmm. F8 has a lot of really short goals. Yeah, it does. Got Twinkly packaging, but you're opening all the elevator doors. One of them, which is right outside the Twinkly packaging jiggy. Yep. Beanstalks, Sports Town Torpedo, Regal Bash. Yeah. Regal Bash, meaning you can grab it at the same time you grab your Isle of Hags, Jinjo. Yeah. <coughs> your Spiral Mountain Jinjo, I mean. Yeah, this is not bad. GDO ahead of Steve. Out of Klungo one this time around. Yep, Town Torpedo for Dippy. Yeah. It's a good benefit. Dippy while you do. Throwing the bean socks. GDO. Running in that freaking orange house while he's reading the card. <laughs> oh, Mrs. House Jump. Mrs. House Jump again. Steve's got the time to catch up. Misses it oh, again. No. Misses it again. Steve <laughs> takes the first try. Oh my god. <laughs> Crazy. God. <laughs> I'm going to have no voice when I do this tomorrow. <laughs> For Sunder versus Electric, God. Mm. Okay. Steve, just a little bit ahead. Both players still surveying the card. There are a yeah, lot there... of Jiggy goals. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta turn on this fan, it's so hot in here. Still heavy on F5. Let's see, 
see. What do we got on F5? We got Soul K moves. Elevator doors. doors with GI Jiggies. Mm -hmm. uh, crispy Bacon, Beanstalks. Eh. Yeah, there's a good bit of JRL stuff in there's there. definitely a lot more longer moves, uh, longer goals in F5 than there is for F8. Yeah. Both guys opting to go into bottles for some goggles. Steve has already chosen F3. F3. Uh. Holy. <laughs> that is a long row. Yeah. Five in Witchy World. Four solo K moves. Oh uh. my god. Steve picked F3. <laughs> Steve is actually throwing for game three. <laughs> Popcorn time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we have I to see what GDO we... picks. GDO is not selected yet. Yeah, I do have some snacks ready in case GDO picks F8. Yeah, pizza. Nice. He might think that it said five and three. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> do we just need to like all caps, jiggies, and levels? <laughs> GDO is still deciding, but yeah, Steve with the F3 choice. Mm. I do not know about that one. Yeah. Five Jiggies in Witchy World and also OK moves alone is just so long. Yeah. It's so, Cause... so long, and they don't synergize at all. No, you got to open Inferno. You got to do all that crazy castle stuff. This is a, a what the hell puzzle here from Steve. 89. GDO mm. has now taken the lead. But has GDO selected his winning row? Not yet. Mm. Might be debating a few. Hopefully not debating. I F3. mean, I guess he saw Jinjos in CCL. Super Stash. Yeah. I just don't know. Yeah, so opening Super Stash is just a little bit of extra moving around, too. Yeah, maybe, when you could just... he, maybe he saw five Jiggies in Witchy World and thought it was five Jiggies in three levels each. Yeah. GDO has still not chosen. Mm. And the cutscene is almost over. Yikes. GDO has chosen F5, Electric Fortunes Row. Oh, Okay. So they're both going to be opening all elevator doors and learning all four solo K moves. Yeah. <clears throat> I think F5 is definitely a little bit better for notes, though. God, strap in, boys. We're in for another <laughs> long one. I mean, we are yep. in for another long one. Holy. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, according to Cole's algorithm, F5 and F3 are pretty similar. We'll just have hmm. to see which one is worse. Yeah. God. Both runners have to get 660 notes. Both hmm. runners got goggles. Both runners trying to do GGM early. <laughs> oh. Videos in. Steve, jump higher. Steve, jump higher. Uh oh. God there we us. go. <laughs> God, Steve is just going to spend so much time in Witchy World, man. Steve, Steve yeah. actually, I think, is going to lose this because of how many jiggies he has to get. Because mm -hmm. Steve has to get three Jiggies in MTGGM Witchy World GICCL. Yeah. And then he's gonna have to just go in the HRP anyways. What the hell is Steve doing? Oh, he's doing detonated mm. levitation first. 
Hmm. Oh, he wants the honeycomb. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you'd have to get Bill Drill. There we go. That's one. Get the honeycomb. There you go. <laughs> like, he's bouncing around, thinking about what he wants to do. Yeah, five jiggies of Witchy World is not the greatest. <laughs> There's one. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't do Fuel Depot first. Although maybe mm -hmm. Steve doesn't. Maybe Steve oh. doesn't. Uh, get Green Pile, please. Uh, he's Death Warping. Uh, hmm. Steve. Maybe plans to run around and... Mm. Wait, he didn't tag the Crushing Shed Warp either. Yeah, he did. I was going to say, maybe he's just going to come back with BK? But he might run around and get all that stuff with Speed Juice? I hope so. Those are good notes. <laughs> yeah, he definitely needed the green pile notes. Mm -hmm. Now he's going to have 65. Yeah. And then maybe get that... Maybe GGM trouble also. Steve but. did get small waterfall, but he did not get green pile nuts. Mm. Mm. Very I interesting just stuff. No, I just <laughs> don't know. GDO's got eighty-five. Mm-hmm. Oh. Don't forget the hunt. Oh, no, a different res. Never mind. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. no. Steve. God. He didn't take damage before he came inside. Fuel Depot. Hmm. Actually throwing for game three. <laughs> Just wants to play bingo until 5 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Man. See, here's the problem now. Steve is like in here. I guess he's just going to do it with the running shoes. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird though. You're already over here with the detonator. Might as well do it there. And then go get this treble. Yeah, this route is making me question a lot of things from Steve. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Right. Oh, Didio slips off. Falls onto the lower platform. Hopefully, he's got his brightness up. <laughs> Looks like he does. There we go. Ooh. A little scary, but he's got half of his GGM jiggies. Well, Steve has the opportunity here to do shoes jump and catch up. Although I don't think he should. He should just. Get he's got to get the stunning comb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's going to. There we go. Oh yeah, and Steve still has to get. Oh, we got a bonk. Um, he still has to get two jiggies from this level, also. Yeah. Which he'll probably just get the cavern jiggies here. Yeah, he could do that, but also, uh, he's got to get. 
the honeycomb. Oh yeah, the train station one. Hmm. GDO with another one. Yeah. So then GDO will just have to come back for Delberta, and then he'll be done with GGM Jiggies. Oh yeah, there I is that path. When Steve is gonna get this train station. Oh yeah, there is a path before uh, Power Hut that leads up to the train station. So we could do that and go back down, but yeah, lots of loading zones like EF pointing out. Yeah, that's yep. what he's doing. I mm. don't like it, but that's what he's doing. Mm -mm. No. Oh, hmm. this GGM is a nightmare. It's a he fucking nightmare. Yeah. Steve. And then he'll have to leave train station, walk all the way back down there. GDO got five jiggies in the time that Steve has gotten two honeycombs and two jiggies. <laughs> yep. Like, holy... The route was so bad. Yeah. <clears throat> I think Steve should have just done Dilberta. Yeah. All right, well. Do the running shoes around the side. Get the honeycomb. Do Gen Cavern, Death Warp. Come back and do Dilberta when you do Bovina. Yeah. Steve has 20 notes, but I promise you 20 notes does not matter at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, he does have one level done for Jiggies. He's still got four more. <laughs> he does have one level done. That's right. Oh, GDM misses the treble clef. We'll go back. <laughs> yeah, we'll just land. Yeah. This is fine. This isn't the end of the world. So let's see. Steve should do top of temple. Slumber Bovina? Yeah. Steve should do Twinkly's. I don't know what he does, actually. Hmm. I don't know what his other yeah. GI jiggies are gonna be. Yeah. And then CCL he does super stash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, let's Jeez. see. It's... And... Yeah, the Super Stash Cheese. Maybe... NG, I guess. Minji? Yeah, yeah, I guess. He's gotta G, find... He probably gets He's gotta find a Jinjo in Minji's hut anyway, so might as well just do Minji mm -hmm. once you find it. Yeah. Yeah, probably Weldar and Ten Tops. Also for GI. Oh yeah, he would definitely do Minji. He's gotta get that Jinjo. So. Ooh, there we go. Nice. When is Steve getting this treble clef? Hmm. I guess uh, he. Oh no. I guess he can go to Bovina as soon as he's done with uh, Code Chamber. Yeah. All right. G. Yeah. Uh, GDO getting the white Jinjo cutscene, so we don't have to go through two. All right. Steve.
could DCW to Minji, actually, if he wanted to. It would save him some yeah. time. Mm-hmm. I don't know where GDO's going. I'm, yeah, because he did set up DCW. I'm surprised GDO even set one up. Oh, GDO's going to go to Toxic Waste. Never mind. Oh, yeah, because he has five in GI. Yep. He's and got you got to get Talent GI Torpedo anyways. Is, yep, and he's forced to get Talent Torpedo. Steve needs Super Stash? Yeah, because he has to open up the safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't mean... I mean, DCW to Minji isn't the worst. No. Oh, DCW without Clockworks would be bad. That is true. Oh, yeah. Well, Steve is going to JRL, so he could potentially DCW somewhere with Clockworks. Although, at that point, just go to CCL Ooh. normally. Alright, so then GDO gonna get his Jinjos yep. and Alberta. Yep. Boom. Uh. Boom. Did Steve just get slumber? Did anybody pay attention? Uh, I didn't. Getting slumber? I would hope so. Snacky says yes. Oops. Got it. Cool. So as soon as he gets Bovina, he'll be done with MT as well. Mm. GDO getting cucked by the code. Yeah. Praise Moon Moon. <laughs> So Steve flies through the trouble clap right here, gets Bovina, and leaves. He death warped mm -hmm. with a skill stop honeycomb. Right. Nice. The video is done. Yep, two goals done already. And Steve is done with that goal. Both of them leave it MT at the same time. Yep. Pretty much the same time. Both heading to Witch mm -hmm. Room, where we will see Steve spend his remaining days. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. GDO has literally nothing to do in this level except grab notes. Steve has all the notes plus just an inordinate amount of jiggies. Yeah. Yeah, GDO gets notes the and then... The real question here is, does DCW? Steve skip Inferno or does Steve skip Hatch? Hmm. Well, I guess doing Van does give you access to a treble in this yeah, level. I think but... if you skip Inferno, though... You're just trolling yourself with airborne egg games. Or I mean, I mean, it would be smarter to skip Inferno because then you have airborne egg game for two different games. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. So I think it makes more sense to skip Inferno, but I don't actually know what's faster. Yeah. I think Inferno is actually slower than getting patch unless you do it as the van. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they weren't going to enter with Regal Bash. Although, I guess they could have if they wanted. They could yeah. have already gotten Regal Bash if they wanted to go grab it. Both of them left MT, though. There's no reason to save and quit out of MT. Steve tagged the Space Zone Warp. Not sure for what. PDO learning Pack Whack. Yeah, probably for trash compactor. Yeah, for trash, and he's got an additional option for swimming baths. Yeah, for the cheetah.
<clears throat> I just want to know where the hell Steve is DCWing. Yeah. I don't like it, Aaron. I don't like the road choice. I'm yeah. I'm kind of sick. Pretty rough. I'm just looking at everything Steve has to do, and it just seems like a laundry list of fucking terrible goals. Yeah. Especially just all of these witchy Steve world Steve needs to make sure he learns fucking pack whack too. Otherwise, he's mm -hmm. never doing packing, Jiggy. Yeah. Steve will not do TDL jiggies. Mm -mm. There's literally no reason to do them. No, he would only go there for notes and hats. His, his, his jiggies are G-I-C-C-O witchy world. A hundred percent. You do not do TDL here. No. And if you did choose to do TDL, you would not do Terry. Mm. So GDO DCWing also. Maybe to credits again to skip Klungo too. Yeah, but Steve needs taxi pack. Why would Steve need oh Steve does need hatch? Yeah, he's got four, four solo K. They, they, they both need hatch. Yeah. Well GDO, I guess we might see where GDO chooses to DCW here. Or no no no, he's going to Toxic yeah. Waste. I don't know why we keep forgetting this. He's going oh, to Toxic Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got five in GI. <laughs> He's got to go to Toxic Place. Toxic Place. Toxic Place. Toxic Place. <laughs> it's where is Steve going? And Steve's setting yeah. up the gondola at ECW. Hmm, I have no but he got goggles, though. I mean, I guess Steve could also go to Toxic Waste. He could do Twinking. He could do Twinkly's Toxic Toxic if he wants to. He's got the option. Yeah. Yeah, that would just be... I don't know if it's worth going down for Talon Torpedo, though. I don't know either, but I was just saying that that's probably the best option he's presented himself with. Yeah, it's true. <clears throat> I'm actually kind of surprised Steve is... He's not doing Crazy Castle right now. Yeah, maybe one Toxic Waste. He could also get, like, Wildar Jiggy. I don't like coming back to GI, though. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Although, I guess he's got to come back with Toxic... With a uh, Taxi Pack. So, maybe it's not the end of the world. Yeah. It's still just such a... I don't know. This row. <laughs> this is a row. Steve turning into Van, just... so I'm thinking he's going to do Inferno. Yeah. He's going to go get the treble. Which is fine. Well. I mean, we said Inferno over Patch. I mean, maybe you just don't want to do Patch. This is, like, not the end yeah. of the world. He already has mm -hmm. Airborne, so he can do this. Set up Inferno, save and quit. He did He did do Cactus already, right? I think he did. Yeah. So he's going to do Inferno as BK and then warp back to Wumba and do Crazy Castle. It's not the end of the mm -hmm. world. No. Nope. He's got to remember to get Packwack. Hopefully he remembers. He's going to have a shit ton more notes than GDO. It's like the only thing Steve's row has going for him right now. Yeah. <laughs> GDO on the doubloon. The doubloon hunt. Mm -hmm. Got to get all everything in JRL. One of my least yep. favorite goals. <laughs> Come to get wing whack. One solo K okay, move done.
God, this is a long goal here for GDO too. This goal is very long. All everything is yeah. Well. It's not as bad as uh, not as bad as five in Witcher World, I don't think, but pretty mm -hmm. pretty equally terrible. Yeah, so you got to go everywhere at the bottom of JRL. Hey, have to get a Pana. Steve, do not forget Packwack. Go get Packwack. All right, very good. <laughs> there you go. That would have been a big, big, big time loss. Geo grabbing sub aqua. For what? Oh, for crispy bacon. Mm. Makes sense. So what all does Steve have to do when he gets to uh <laughs> when Steve gets to JRL, he doesn't have to do too much. No, he's gotta, gotta get, get wing whack. Gotta get wing whack and a bunch of notes. But other than that, you yeah. have to run around like GDO is. Yeah. So yeah, it definitely looks like GDO will be coming back to JRL later on. He's gonna have... Uh, well... He could do it all in one trip, actually, before he DCWs the Toxic Waste. Yeah. It really just depends on what he wants to do. You can yeah. do all of this... You can do all of this without Clockworks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just have to climb up for the Honeycomb. Yeah, I think most people do it in one trip nowadays. We've seen a lot of people do it in one trip. Yeah, I guess unless you really have to, like, come back for Jero for, like, Tip Tub or Smugglers or something like that. But... I don't think Steve should DCW to CCL without Clockworks nade. I think that would be a big throw. He needs a lot of stuff in CCL that Clockworks uh, really help make easier. Mm -hmm. I honestly think Steve should go to Toxic Waste as well, personally. Yeah. And just do two trips to GI. Mm -hmm. Skip doing, skip doing springy step shoes. Yeah. Just have that already out of the way. What did you miss? Game one was pretty interesting. <laughs> Um, yeah, followed by a not-so-close game, too. An extra bubble trip should be faster than two-trip GI? I don't know. Leaving Ooh. CCL is very slow. Yeah. On N64. I should say. I, I personally think DCW Naminji is not a good idea. I think mm -hmm. it saves you from bad skull, but ultimately there's just way too much in CCL you have to get with Clockworks. Yeah. I think you DCW to Toxic Waste, get your two Jiggies that you're going to get. You're going to get your third one. You can end in Packing Room, right? You're going to end in Packing Room. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> But yeah, Steve definitely needs Clockworks because of his open Super Stash goal. So. I think you just get those two, you leave. You know, you can set up your flight pad. That way you never even have to break into GI. I, I think it's worth. We'll just have, see if Steve thinks it's worth it or if he saves and quits out of Talon Torpedo. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's thinking about doing. Mm -hmm. Geo opening up crispy bacon. Does Geo have enough bubbles to get inside? I think he does. <coughs> yep. Well, I agree with that too. Yeah. I would just not DCW at all. And just do your clockwork shots once you get to GI, but we've made our DCW bed and now we have to lay in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, GDO's good. 
Yeah, GDO making his uh, JRL one trip work with uh, Crispy Bacon is pretty impressive. Mm hmm. I mean, F3 is a pretty terrible row, although to be fair, F5 is not much better according to the algorithm. So, still anybody's mm -hmm. game, even though we say it's AKA not close. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. The, this was Steve's longest level. Keep that in mind, guys. And Steve is done with his longest level. <laughs> Yeah. Did he get Inferno yet? He did. Or he did. Okay. He's got these cool. two and he saves and quits and then he heads to JRL. Yeah. Two well, it's such a long level. Especially with these two jiggies right here. That's it. Why is Steve walking out? What am I looking at? Uh, I think he's... What is Steve doing? Is he just going to warp out? What is Steve out? doing? He already got gone with ECW. Is he just warping out? What is Steve doing? Should have just saved and quit right there. Bro, just death warp. What the hell am I watching? Oh, he hasn't done Inferno. He has not done Inferno. Oh, That's the only reason okay. he would be coming back in here. Oh, please don't Ooh, die! Don't die! <laughs> he can't hit a single hothead going up. No. If that, that's <laughs> gonna be really, really rough. This is absolutely scary. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is so easy to fail a jump on Inferno too, even when yeah. you're going slow. There we go. Don't jump off, just grenade. Please, just grenade. Or save and quit, sure. I don't. I would not yeah. have saved and quit. I probably would have just death warped right there. I mean, yeah. You you were already at one health. Gondola is set up. Unless he's thinking of DCWing mm -hmm. right now. But I I really hope he doesn't DCW. Okay. Yeah, I probably would have just saved and quit there. I don't know why he didn't. Oh, because he wants all of his stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is fine then. Alright. Is he going to get double air? No, he's just going uh, to the, I don't think so. the flight pad. Yeah. Steve even has airborne egg in. Yep. Shoot Hopefully he goes for the pink egg. He does. Ooh, barely gets hit. Uh -oh. oh no, he got hit again. Oof. Yeah, now I can mark five, thank you. Okay. GDS hunting his honeycomb. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, now that's not everything from GDO, but he's gonna opt to leave. Mm-hmm. Which makes me wonder if GDO is going to do... I think GDO is going to DCW into GI with Clockworks. GDO is not DCW into Toxic Waste? Is this real? Uh, He's going to credits. GDO is not DCW into Toxic Waste? Uh... What are his five jiggies? Hmm. Or maybe he's thinking that because he already has the notes and he's already getting hatch just to get taxi mm -hmm. pack. But did GDO get pack whack? Uh, yeah, he did. He got pack whack. Okay. Oh, yeah, he got it for trash. So, wait, he could do. Mm -hmm. He could do Weldar. I guess it's not the end of the world. He could do QCE. No? Yeah. He can yeah. do Weldar, Trash, Tintups, Twink... Or not Twinklies, not Twinklies. He can do Weldar, Trash, Tintups, Attic, QCE. Yeah. He also doesn't have to do 4-4 four, four early. Because he'll have to open the elevator door with Briggle Bash. Briggle Bash, yeah. Yeah. So. But why would you just not do Toxic Waste? You've already got Talon Torpedo. You're, you're in... Yeah, you're in JRL. I don't know. I, I'm just so confused. 
So GDO is <laughs> going to have to drop down. I mean, he's doing this to skip springies, but now I hate GDO's routing. Yeah, because it's like you have all these notes anyway. I think if GDO went to Toxic Waste. I mean, GDO could have even done Toxic Waste with Clockworks. Yeah. Yeah, it was screaming Toxic Waste DCW. Yeah. I don't know, very interesting. He didn't even have to go to some level. I mean, he could have just done JRL twice with a one trip, which, uh, GI if he wanted to. Although, I guess GDO doesn't have Briegel Bash yet. So maybe GDO didn't want to <coughs> DCW to Toxic Waste without Briegel Bash. Yeah. But in that case, uh, he should have gotten it earlier. <laughs> GDO did get a lot of stuff done in JRL, but he's not done there yet. Nah. I wonder how many notes he... He has 385. And what is... Steve is going to have like 320-something. Mm. Got 395 going to CCL. Oh my god, Steve is so ahead on notes. Holy shit. Yeah. Remember, like I said, guys, Steve's longest level is already done. And I think Steve goes to Toxic Waste, to be honest. I hope he goes to Toxic Waste. Mm -hmm. Want to get Wing Whack? Video mm -hmm. looking for beans. Got one. Yep, he's going to need both. Eggs. Uh oh. <laughs> <coughs> round and round and round we go. Where the bean <laughs> is, all nobody the knows. <laughs> oh no, it's like an old clip of mine. I didn't have patches up. There we go. Finally got him. Oh, he's gonna. I guess he's getting notes. He knows he needs notes. He is big behind on notes. Yeah. Steve got wing whack. Steve isn't swimming. Where is Steve going? Uh... So Steve's not doing town torpedo. He's also just going to go to credits. Maybe Steve does Terry here. He does Terry, yeah, gets notes, maybe. and just leaves. I hope he goes Terry here if he's not doing Toxic Waste. He's Going also credit. doing credits. I, I just, I, I, I just don't <laughs> like credits. Yeah, I think credits is a bad choice. Steve had the notes to do all of TDL. Why not just go to TDL? Hmm. Both runners chose to DCW to credits when I think both runners had way better options. <laughs> yeah. God, I was really hoping Steve was going to pick Terry there. Okay, mm -hmm. so I think both runners wasted their DCW, to be honest. I, I mean, they skipped Klungo too, yay, but I don't know. <laughs> I think not worth in the end. Yeah, because Toxic Waste definitely could have helped out GDO as well. Tox toxic Waste was like a must for GDO, in my opinion. I think, yeah. I think not going there and opting to do Attic QCE instead is like big throw. Yeah, definitely. I do think Steve shouldn't have DCW'd, but he definitely wasted it because he set it up. Like, he definitely wasted it now upon being set up, if that makes sense. 
I will <laughs> agree with you, though. I don't think Steve should have done it. Steve should have gone down and gone down torpedo in 30 notes, I think. Yeah. All right. GDA plants a second bean and goes to Mumba. Oh. I don't know if he knows where Mumbo is yet. He's just grabbing Yes. Yeah. It's actually crazy. GDO has collected the majority of notes here in CCL and is still like way behind Steve. Mm-hmm. GDO only has 40 more notes than Steve. And he's been to one more level than Steve. Man. Let's see. This is good skull. Go or well, I guess you'd still want it by red. How long was GDO in Witchy World? Not very long. Yeah, GDO's got Mumbo and Bad Skull. Yeah. You want Mumbo and Red, That's... not blue? Yeah, first I was thinking, oh, his first skull was Mumbo. That's good, but yeah. Because Red, it's right there. Yeah, he got split up, pack whack, set up as DCW. Getting some notes, but. I mean, I guess Steve gets to skip learning Springies, but like. I don't know. Seems like a waste. GDO getting cucked by Bad Skull. You hate to see that. Yeah. We really should get rid of Grow Both Beanstalks. <laughs> Not that I think, like, you know. I, I mean, it's another goal that people could just lose time to for Bad Skull. Yeah. I think it should just be plant both beans. I agree. Mm -hmm. so we can just change the timing, but I think people get cucked on good skull versus bad skull on this all the time. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Is he going here for river I... passage now? That is what he's doing, but also like, he needed Hatch Cave, so I'm not sure why he's doing this now. Yeah, he might just take oh, Solo Kid to the other side. He needs Taxi Pack. He needs Taxi oh, Pack. Oh, right, yeah. right. We knew he needed this. Yeah, forget he has Twinkly Packing. Well, I, it just like feels bad. Like GDO already knows he lost time, and then he's losing even more time from having to carry Mumbo across. Yeah. It kind of just reminds me of the old Boggy's kids, although not to the same extent. <laughs> All right, video out of CCO. Besides the moves that we talked about, GDO really only has JRL and GI left. Obviously, mm -hmm. he's got to get a TDL and HFP for Kazooie moves, but GDO is down to two levels left. Whereas Steve has all of them left. Yeah. Oh, Steve is doing the rest of this TDL as solo K from here. This is good for Steve if he does not die. If Steve dies as solo K without accomplishing everything else that he needs to in TDL, this is a huge time loss. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all of the split up pads just kind of suck for like just going around TDL. Yeah. This all the split up pads suck. Mm-hmm. Because you're the most of the time you're either like in river passage or uh, top of mountain. Yeah. So, GDO getting Briggle Bash. <laughs> Legacy Bingo Strats. You've learned a match. 
Couldn't imagine if it was still a goal. And Gia's still got to go to Heggy before he continues on. Yeah. And he is going to uh, try and do this jump. Oh. Work. That is not going to work. He saves and quits. Yeah. <laughs> so now where is Steve going? Is Steve going to go CCL now? Oh, and he gets put at jingling. They both get put at jingling. Yeah. Because th that's another bad thing about credits DCW. Is if you're having to save and quit all the time. Uh... Time adds up. Five seconds yeah. slower every time you save and quit. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Steve still has a good bit to do in CCL. Mm-hmm. Jinjos, Jiggies, uh, Super Staff Switches. Mm-hmm. Mm. GDL learning Bringle Bash. I think he's heading to TDL now. Yep, gonna get the switch first. <clears throat> I do think, even without the toxic waste, I do think GDO is in the lead. I think. It's really, mm -hmm. hard, it's really hard to tell. <clears throat> Steve's gotta go in the trash can. Yeah. Or at least go buy it. Oh man, Steve's doing George Clip here. Mm. That looks good. Nice. Good nice. George Clip. Gonna fly to Wumba. Virgin Joe. Yeah. Oh. Or actually, he should save that last. Because the only way to get off of there is either he a is death warp or this. taking he the. He's not doing this. This does not work, bro. What is this? Oh, for the switch. Yeah. Yeah, all right. For a second, I thought he was going to land and clockwork warp into the trash can. <laughs> huh? Okay. Goes to top. Yo, learning hatch. Nice. Puts him at two moves as well. I like the CCL route so far from Steve. Yeah. I just... I... I don't know. I think GDO is. I think GDO wins this. I just think the rest of his moves left are pretty simple. Although yeah. he did. Although I will say GDO completely cucked himself with fucking. <laughs> GDO, oh, going to GDO credits. GDO really, really cucked himself going to credits. Yes. Yeah. Alright, I think GDO's yes, done here. GDO. So he's got HFP. No, go back to JRL, then HFP, then hopefully GI. Yeah. I imagine you want to end in GI, preferably on QCE, but I don't know if GDO's going to have enough notes. Yeah, I was going to say, it's got to have 660 before GI. So. Oh, Steve's just running around looking for notes. Hmm. 
So he might just end on Steve, just, just learning Steve, glide. Don't need this many notes. Steve just needs to do his yeah. duties and get out of CCL as fast as possible. Yeah. Yeah, GDO is opt. So this is GDO's longest level here, guys. GDO is going to be in GI for a long time. Mhm. Mm yeah, especially him having to go up for like QCE. Okay, the safe is open. Oh. Yeah, I've got, <laughs> Brooks got a cat behind me. <laughs> Man, GDO tried yep. to be quick, but he wasn't quick enough. Yeah, and then it sucks too because you have to wait just so long. Yep, <laughs> it does suck. For the enemy to respawn. Steve grabbed Super Sash Jiggy, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, he went down after the... GDO breaks in. Another Jinjo nice. for Steve. Right. Still needs to probably find get... Minji, Cheese Wedge, and Wumba. Yeah. Which Wumba's probably your best one to end on. Because oh. getting off of that little island. He just made a sucks. tutorial about this the other day. Let's see if he can hold true. <laughs> Looks good. Nice. Nice. Nice raptor shot. There we go. Alright. Tough work. Needs to do Minji and Cheese. So we gotta regroup. Mm hmm. Regroup! <laughs> Minji Cheese. Geo taking care of Trash Compactor. Nice. Which technically Steve could also do. What are Steve's Jiggy's gonna be now, actually? Steve is gonna do Twinklies. Mm. He could do Trash. Yeah. And Weldar? Yeah. Or Tin Top? Yeah. Probably needs to do at least one Clockwork shot. Yeah. It depends Steve on got where that he... skull. Yeah, it depends as on where he's... Casual, is this considered close? This is still fairly close. I don't know who mm -hmm. really is truly in the lead right now. Yeah. I think, I think GDO technically is in the lead, but GDO has to have a very solid GI. Or Steve will mm -hmm. win and, and end this. Yeah. Although... God, they both, I think both of them still need a shit ton of notes. Yeah, mm -hmm. both of them still need about a hundred notes each. <laughs> yeah, of course. GDO setting up well our shot. That looks pretty good. Yep. Mm, nice. All right. Okay. Steve's got to fly to red and kill Minji before he's done with CCL. Whereas GDO. Gonna get claw clampers? Open the doors. Why is he learning claws? Hmm. Shouldn't he open his doors? He's gonna do floor two. I guess he's gonna grab more GI notes. Yeah. He's going to have Solo oh. K do everything else that he needs to do in mm -hmm. terms of uh, he, he's going to grab things that he needs with Solo K on floor two, like leg spring. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, plus he can um, he probably get oh, no, he did some tops already. Never mind. But yeah, he can go up the floor two from there, get all the Solo K stuff and then go up the elevator. Steve doing Minji with one health. Very scary, Ooh. but he's got the gold feathers. Got him in position. There you go. Yep, 
Yeah, now that I'm looking at this more closely, I think Steve ends on Glide. In fact, I think both of these guys end on Glide. Yeah. Don't death warp. Mm. This is so slow. This quit. is slow. The bubble is slow, ladies and gentlemen. It's slow. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, GDO shouldn't need too many HFP notes. Yeah, GDO actually coming to floor two has done wonders for his notes. Yeah, because then... I don't know if he'll get any more in GI. Probably not. Steve's going to have to refill too, I think? Question mark? Mm. Although Steve... Yeah, he's got to break in, so... Yeah. GDO's heading to his elevators. Elevator Nice. Numbers. I think we're going to see game three, guys. I, I, think yep. this, I think this is going to be the first game three. I think. <laughs> Unless GDO, like, mm -hmm. green barrels. Yeah. Uh, always a possibility, but. Yo, what's up, Shlongster? Who would ever green barrel? <laughs> Both runners failing to get onto the pipe. Mm -hmm. oh. uh oh. There we go. Four three door. It's all GDO's doors. So yeah, what do we say do? He's definitely gonna do, do QCE here, right? He has to. He does have to Yeah. Close. He's gotta do QCE, come back around, and then he's gotta do Attic. Or he's doing Attic and something else, I guess. Hmm. Or yeah, no, QCE's in this room. But he's not doing this room. He's gonna do... I don't know what GDO is doing. He's going to do yeah. Attic and something. I don't know. Nice. Steve getting Raptor 10 tops. Shot. Very important <laughs> there. <laughs> the slow toxic waste. Yeah. What is Steve doing? Oh, GD are going to get the Attic with his well Claw Clambers. This does <clears> not get you to Attic. Oh. Or, well, I guess it can if he does the jump around the side. Oh, yeah. He did do a tutorial on this also. Nice. There we go. Nice. We still want to go back and do QCE, though. Yeah. But that's probably where he'll end his GI. Steve with the Waldar shot. It's just got to do packing, Jiggy. Yep. And and leg spring. And uh, elevator doors. <laughs> GDO has Smuggler's Cheeto. Scott Pano. Uh, I think all of his Cheeto pages. Baths? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think he's supposed to do all of his Cheeto pages. And he's got to do Pipe Honeycomb. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. I think this is where GDO oh. loses. If he does lose, he loses to this QCE. Because this is mm -hmm. just such a waste of time to do this, Jiggy. Yeah. It's overall been a good GI, but it's been a slow GI. 
Mm -hmm. Definitely. And if GDO green barrels, he's definitely lost. Yeah, I cup it was. Oof. Good QCE. There he goes. Oh wait, GDO has um three moves, yeah, right? You're right, you're right. Alright, cool. So, he's go so back now he has to go. Three. So GDO has to go JRL and then quick trip and the oh HFP. That was a very risky move from Steve. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Did he get floor four door yet? I wasn't looking. Yes, yeah, so he got floor four and jumped down to floor three. Okay, cool. Oh, GDO ending in JRL. Yeah, hmm. he is. He's going to end in Smugglers, I guess. Yeah. Where is Steve going? He's going to tag Floor 2, I guess, for Kazooie later. Oh yeah, you still gotta get a few more notes. 45, he needs 15 more. Yep, and then the two down here. Oh, he just got one down there. Yeah, and then he'll get this one right here. Smart. Does Steve have enough notes? I mean, uh, yep, GDO does. Okay. This is close. I think GDO does have it, though. Mm hmm. Right. Yep, he gets that free glide jump. Bounce on glide. But he does have all of his solo case stuff. See how death work. He split up near the entrance, so. Steve has packing jiggy and glide left. GDO has everything in JRL left. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to game three. <laughs> I can't remember if GDO got the swimming baths Cheeto yet or not. I don't think he did. 
But I could be wrong. So you'd have to... Yeah. So you'd have to go back down for that and then back up. Yeah. To smugglers. Steve is technically done in like three minutes. And I just think GDO is going to be done way before that. Yeah. That was confirmed the first Cheetah page. So GDO has not done swimming baths. Yeah. But he's heading there right now. He's going to swim down. Or no, mm -hmm. GDO's going to end in swimming baths, I think, maybe. We still have to do smugglers also. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he'll death warp and do smugglers. Cool. Oh, yeah, because he can do this with a clockwork. <clears throat> Yeah, I still think F8 was the best one on this card. God, I can't believe how close this still was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. GDO has one honeycomb, one, one honeycomb, one cheetah page left. God, I can't believe how actually close this is, but yeah. Oof. How many notes does Steve have right now? Six, uh, six, six. Six twenty-five? Six thirty-five? Okay. Oh, up. yeah, but just, just GDO has freaking honeycombs. Or, I mean, uh, little clockworks. Yeah, this is over. Yeah. Thirty-five. Yeah. All right. Nice. And here goes GDO to get his last Cheeto page. Man. These were some nutty rows. Still wish GDO had just gone to Toxic Waste. I feel he would have been over a few minutes ago. All right. Uh, GG. Game three. Game three. <laughs> <laughs> Man. All right, GGs. Jesus, GGs. man. We're going to game three. Jesus, <laughs> so close. <laughs> I'm literally going to IC side right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When that timer man. started ticking past 105, I was like, "Yep." I hope Steve's doing this row. <laughs> <laughs> you guys picked different rows. Uh, what did. did you do? I did F5. F5. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh man, that actually looks better than what I picked. What did you pick? I think I, I picked uh, F3. F3? Oh, oh yeah. God. Yeah, I immediately yeah. like struck all the bottom three off. I don't trust Twinkly packaging anymore. <laughs> Twinkly <laughs> packaging was fine. What killed me was five Jiggies in Witchy World. No, Ooh. what killed you was your GGM routing. Oh, yeah, that too. Your GGM routing mm -hmm. was actually atrocious. <laughs> yeah, it was shit. I, yeah. GDO, is there a reason you did not DCW to Toxic Waste? I thought it would screw up my JRL route. And because I had to open all the elevator doors, I figured I'd be on the roof anyway. Like, up top. So, mm -hmm. I figured it would probably be faster to just do those instead. Yeah. But... I mean, it would have saved me, like, you know, the hullabaloo. If I would have, if I felt comfortable doing solo K QCE, it would have probably been a little bit faster. But I thought there's no way I'm going to do that. Other, if I if I was going to do solo K QCE, I probably would have opened the front door. 
<laughs> That's so. fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah so I, j I just thought the other two Jiggies would be faster than doing Toxic Waste. But I guess in the end I could have just gone straight up the elevator then just Death Warped out of there. Alright. Oh boy. Reset. Oh, man. Take, we're gonna take a, I'm gonna take an extended break because I'm gonna make myself some dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Sounds good. I mean, not like a giga extended break, but enough to <laughs> serve myself yeah. something. I'm sorry, I took it to game three, Steve. I'm sorry, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my GGM route was a freaking monka. I. I, was like, I hey, uh, he's just I... green pile. What the hell is he doing? Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, I was like, well, I have to go over there anyways because I need the treble clef, and yeah, I don't know. Oh, but then you didn't have enough notes for build drill and I did, whatnot. I did have enough notes. It was just a sort of double trip. I think that wasn't the bad part. The Just running in the honeycombs was shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be right back. Right. Yeah, same. Yeah, I like went into JRL. I swam down, did like... I did crispy bacon and then I did see me fish in Big Fish Cavern. Oh man, it also had crispy. Oh man, if I had seen that, I would have. Yeah, and then I just because... immediately left. I yeah. like immediately left, and then at the end, I cleaned up all my other honeycombs and got all three Cheeto pages. Yeah, I I sort of wanted to dodge the everything in JRL, and that's yeah. why I didn't give the row a second look. But looking back at it, I think that was the superior row. Um, Five jiggies in Witchy World was like, you know, 35 minutes nuts. in, let's start the bingo. <laughs> yeah, that's how I felt last bingo, but... Um, yeah. With this one, I, I liked uh, learn, all solo four key, or learn All Four Solo Kazooie moves with the row, just because it puts you in JRL, it put me in GI, I was yeah. like... I gotta be in those levels yeah, so that's what that's what uh, i liked about this one too and then uh open the elevator doors so you get uh briggle bash and you have easier access to the you know floor three with twinkly packing oh yeah that's true that was really nice and then yeah. super stash plus gingos and ccl which was having actually to... pretty annoying to route <laughs> yeah having to go for taxi pack kind of sucks but i guess you need to go in yeah. there for hatch anyway so yeah, and th that was another thing. Like, I completely forgot I needed hatch in TDL, and so I made a route. I, I routed it in a way that made no sense. Like, if I oh. remembered, I would have routed it completely differently. Um, yeah, I, I thought my routing was with... great. But yeah. The I only thing just... different is maybe I would have DCW to QCE, but, or uh, to uh, Toxic Waste, but I, yeah. I don't know. I didn't think it would be faster. I think it's not necessarily faster. I don't think five jiggies in GI is an automatic TCW to toxic waste. I don't either, but with whoops! Oh shit! <laughs> okay, I just spilled water oh, everywhere. I'll be right back. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll be right back too. Okay. Mm. All right, I'm back. I'm also back. Mm. Cool. Although I've got my salad, so I'm going to try to chop it away <laughs> from the mic. But 
Uh, no, you're good. I just got food also. How about our boys? I think they both, both had to go get some. I, I, I think GDO spilled water. Oh, nice. Or <laughs> something. Even yeah, we, yeah, we heard it in the mic. And then I guess uh, Steve went to go get something also because he said he'd be back. So. Oh, man, I am so not ready for another game. <laughs> We're all gonna suffer together. <laughs> yeah, but it's 3:30 a.m. here. <laughs> mm. I feel that. Yeah. Yeah, that GGM was a fucking nightmare. Like, I wasn't sure what to do with the detonator, and then I fucking forgot to take damage as I was setting up DCW, so I had to leave. Mm -hmm. Fucking fuel storage was the which is the <laughs> laggiest fucking loading zone ever. Yep. Yeah. Holy shit, yeah, I had to like, clean up a weird. lot of water off of my N64. <laughs> oh, no. No. I didn't realize it spilled on your console. Well, I spilled it on the floor, but there was so much in it, and it fell from so high that it splashed uh, up, and it splashed all over my TV and my desk, and holy shit. <laughs> Keeping everything but I hydrated. think I'll be good. <laughs> I said this to GDO before, but I fucking forgot I needed hatch and TDL, so the route made zero sense. Like, when I learned taxi pack, I was like, fuck, I need hatch. <laughs> why, did I, why did I route it like this? Oh, yeah, because I saw you were getting notes on the path, and you, like, dropped down the yeah, river passage. Yeah, it's like I should have just split up in hatch cave, dropped down into river passage as solo B, and, you know, finished up like that. Mm. That would have been better at that yeah. point. Yeah, I was trying really hard to route notes at the end to not like grab any extra ones like yeah. off the straight path in HFP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I still had to get five down below. Yeah, I think I got yeah. some slowish notes, but I also really wanted to avoid um, grabbing notes in HFP. And I, I managed that. I mean, I was just going to IC side when we were pulled in. Oh, to like learn the move? Yeah, yeah, I was going to finish on that. Oh my god, that was really close then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, he finished a minute behind yeah, you. He was an exact, okay. an exact minute behind you. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's always the delay, right? So it seems oh, yeah, closer yeah. than yeah. it really is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, um... Yeah. I made a couple... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Okay, I was just going to say, I made a couple questionable, like... I split up, like, I got springies as well, because I was like, I'm going to make sure I get the trouble clef. But then I was like, why don't I just go back as BK and just run down to get the trouble clef? Like, I don't need yeah. to grab it as solo K, but yeah, whatever. I was trying to get the trouble, but I completely missed the crouch jump. Like, solo K just <laughs> ran off the edge, and I didn't even get a jump, and mm. then I just saved yeah. and quit. I, that's what I did in my last race, and yeah, so I, I know. did not do that. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I was like, oh, GDO fucked this up. Maybe I should not go for it. <laughs> uh, ended up being correct. Frick. Also, CCL was kind of tricky in a row. And of course, I got bad skull luck for the second race in a row. GDO got bad skull luck too. So that was oh, yeah, nice. not a... Mm -hmm. out then. Yeah, nothing to complain there. Yeah, really yeah. pissed me off though. I was just like, why twice in a row? Mm-hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, GDO had to grow both beanstalks. So, oh, God. Oh, you got yeah. it. Man, had to take Mumbo across there. the cavern. That's yeah, a really it was bad time loss. Extra bad for me, but. Yeah. <sighs> okay, have you guys both recovered? Yeah. Uh, as much as I will. <laughs> uh, one second. I'm All not right. ready to go. Uh, give me one second. I just need to. All right. Uh, I think I'm ready. <laughs> just need to make sure I have the right card open. Okay. 96384. 96384 is correct. Yep. We got awesome. it. All right. 
Audience, you've been asking for it, and we finally have it. <laughs> game we start three. Game three. <laughs> In three, two, one, go. Good, Good luck. luck. Good luck. Good luck, guys. I think we are a little desynced. I'm going to try to fix that as the okay. match starts, and then I'll reveal the card. <clears throat> cool. Game three. Yeah, I mean, GDO's just slightly ahead of Steve. Oh, Steve doesn't have a timer, though. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. All right. So let's see what we got. Oh, Nate already made a comment about F4. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the board. And All right. Yeah, F4. Board. Fact, fact, Terry, and Cole <laughs> in one row. Yeah, just boss and rush Weldar. it. And Weldar. Boss rush it. Oh, and Weldar, yeah. And Weldar. <laughs> Defeat Weldar. Weldar, Terry, oh my Fact, God. and Old King Cole. Holy cow. <laughs> Terry's Kids does also give you four eggs <laughs> in that row. Oh, my God. Very oh, interesting. Terry's, yeah, Terry's, Terry's kid synergizes with hatch five eggs. Yeah. Dengo says F2. Mm. Man, F10 sure looks fun. That F10 is like a lot of like, <laughs> holy cow stuff. Yeah. It's a lot oil of like drills, individual Saberman. long stuff. Battle yeah. Doors, oil drills, Sabermen, Crushing Shed, Return the Lost Styrak, <laughs> five bosses. Mm hmm. <laughs> Boy, don't I know yeah. how to pick them, guys. <laughs> F11 is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, F11 is like everything. Although, Sack Pack, it's the Shack Pack synergy. Mm -hmm. MT Kickball plus MT Jiggies. You can get your Oil Drill Jiggy with Solo Banjo. Yeah. Yep, you could get Oil Drill with Solo B. Hmm. This card is pretty terrible, though. Mm-hmm. It sucks that you can't pair this with any other train goal. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Like, if only you could do Return the Lost Styrak with Old King Cole. Yeah. Ah, defeat Weldar. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what these guys end up doing. This is a terrible, terrible card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Neither runner has picked their row. GDO a little bit ahead of Steve. I gotta get more water. Solo coming. All right. Woo. Yeah, this card isn't great. <laughs> um. So much like long stuff. Still can't get over all the bosses in F4.
Hmm. Although... Yeah. Okay. I have returned with water. Welcome back. Uh, both of our runners starting their puzzles. Mm -hmm. Steve has chosen F7. Turn Styrak. Rushing Shed. Smuggler's Bosses. Sack Pack. Oh my god. God. Defeat Weldar. <laughs> oh mm. my God. Steve is going to be doing Old King Cole, Crushing Shed, Weldar, Terry, and Sack Pack. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, that is, uh, that's a row. Mm -hmm. GDO has not made his selection yet. Oh my god, Steve has to DCW to Weldar? Mm -hmm. After doing all this other bullshit? My god. Yeah, boss synergy. <laughs> boss synergy! Keck W! <laughs> He's got three of his bosses picked out for him. He has all of his bosses picked out for him. Yeah. GDO has not chosen, and GDO's done with the puzzle. Oh, boy. Where will we go? <laughs> yeah. GDO's just heading into GGM. GDO still is not picked. Oh he's boy. just going to do his standard route. Yeah. F7 is definitely not the worst. It's not the worst, but it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. Alright. Steve in GGM. A normal row is 65. Steve's F is a 101. <laughs> so just just keep that in mind. I'll tell you what GDO is when he picks. GDO picked mm -hmm. GDO picked F4. Oh boy. Boss rush time. And GDO's row is also a 101. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay well both, it is the first game three both runners, are doing, entertaining. both runners are doing terry and weldar we're gonna be here forever <laughs> mm -mm -mm. i can't believe both of them chose a row that's 101 <laughs> Oh my god. Both of them setting up their freaking... I, I think Steve's is so long, though. Look at GDO, yeah. though. GDO has to do Old King Cole, Weldar, Woo Fak Fak, Terry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, man. But Steve has to collect like, a shit ton of notes and do a shit ton of jiggy. Like, long jiggies. Whew. Yeah. Crushing shed. Steve's mm. bosses have been chosen for him, though. That's the yeah. good news. Steve's gonna have a very long GGM. Steve's gonna do Klungo one, Klungo two. Or er, well, he could do Minji instead of Klungo two, I guess. Yeah. And then Terry, Old King, Cole, Weldar. <laughs> oh man so this, should, this will be a very entertaining game three I mean we're synced
Mm. Babies and five egg synergy is pretty good. I will have to agree with the ICAP. Yeah. I guess. Would you just get like I think the an egg in CCL? Part, I think the unfortunate part is both of these guys are forced to DCW to Weldar. Yeah, you can't really pick anywhere else. <clears throat> Did Gio get the? Yeah, he got the honeycomb. I couldn't see the. Did he get a honeycomb, honeycomb thing underneath? Yeah, he got the one under prospector. Steve pressing the crushing shed button. <laughs> the built-in bathroom oh, yeah. break is coming, guys. Oh my god, dude! So many cutscenes: crushing shed cutscene, two Weldar cutscenes, four Weldar cutscenes. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. Not not just two, four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from both runners. Yeah. That's insane. The crushing shed plus return the lost Styrax energy, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is double mumbo. Yeah. GDO's lifting the train. The only, like, good thing about Steve's row is that GDO has to do so much of Steve's row, too. Mm hmm. Like, even though. GDO doesn't have any train goals. He's got to do Old King Cole. Yeah, the four honeycombs and Cole synergy. <laughs> Insane. <coughs> well, at least we can say whoever wins this game three has definitely earned it. Because <laughs> they both picked absolutely atrocious rows on this terrible card. Yeah. I actually Ooh. think the triple Shack Pack synergy row was the row to pick. F11. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I think it is. Even mm -hmm. though you're doing kickball. I think other than kickball and crushing shed, you're just grabbing notes. For your shack pack sack pack yep train is lifted on gdo side he's heading to mt steve has about a million more years before he <laughs> heads to mt yeah <clears throat> Oh, Steve doesn't have the train station warp. Oh, he's going to have to do a walk of shame. He's going to have to warp back to Mumbo and do walk of shame. Yep. I also just realized, I forget, GDO has 11 Minjos to kill also. Yeah. But Minjos won't be too bad. Nah. He's going to, he's forced to do JRL, he's forced to do... Uh, GI. Mm -hmm. He'll have plenty of options. They both <laughs> picked 101s, <laughs> Alpha. They both picked 101s. I have no idea. <laughs> and not, not 101s as in a minute one, as in the goal length of both rows is a 101. Disgusting. <laughs> I think Steve is going to have a million cutscenes. I think he's completely dead. Mm -hmm. Because cutscenes and learning sack pack do not go together at all. Nope. I do think GDO's is better than Steve's. I will agree. But GDO's is pretty terrible too. Uh-huh.
All right. First call done. <laughs> Time to go back to Mamba. Oh, he tried scrolling down. Yep. Walk of shame time. Here we go. Mm. Here we go, guys. It. Walk of shame. <laughs> Hoggers. Man, that walk sucks. <laughs> it's so bad. Three. Some nice big bombs. Yeah. It's gonna get this honeycomb. Both up to two. God. Yeah. <laughs> the only yeah, GDS is nice thing about Steve's DCW. Is that Steve can DCW to GI and immediately leave? Yeah. The yeah, GDO will have some Minjos to grab. GDO will need to grab some Minjos, I think. Unfortunatamente. Oh, GDO misses JSG early again. It was good. He had some trouble with this last time. There we go. Looked Second try. Looks a lot better there. Yeah. He can get notes on the way to leave, though, Ring Rush. Because Steve's going to leave out of floor four, I think. At least he should. Steve finally out of GGM. Video done with MT before Steve has even stepped foot in MT. <laughs> Man. So yeah, GDI I think just needs notes, DCW, <laughs> maybe pack whack for swimming baths. So I assume in this row you wouldn't want to go back to JRL. Yeah. I think at that point we might. Mm -hmm. uh, it's better to get wing whack for swimming baths though, than pack whack. Uh, yeah. I think GDO just. That is true. I think GDO gets two Minjo's notes and gets out of here. Oh yeah, Minjo's also. Maybe Honeycomb in uh, West Stone if he wants it. Mhm. Mm Although I don't even think he needs it. For four Honeycombs, he can just get. <clears throat> Smokestack. Atlantis. Or a yeah, freebie. Atlantis. He can get a freebie in TDL anywhere, too. Mm hmm. Yeah, that one by the little lake. Pretty good one. One Ninja. Not getting West Zone. Yeah, he'll happen? probably do the Wing Wax strap. Steve doesn't have to do much in Witchy World. He's nah. He's getting notes. He's got to open up this dino cage. Hit the train station switch. No jiggies, at least. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh. Uh, Steve? I was like, you passed the gradient so long ago. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, uh, that was way too <laughs> late to flap. Yeah. Right. more to the right. There you go. There we go. Okay, now I think DDO sets up his DCW here. Yeah. And that's it for Witchy World. Nice. Question here for me is, does GDO just choose to DCW right now? Yeah. Get Weldar out of the way. Get your clockworks for your one trip JRL. You don't even have to get Wing Whack at that point because you'll have clockworks. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I would. Yeah. Gets you some access. I didn't to see his... I think he gets to yeah. water right now. Cool. Okay, he doesn't want to. <laughs> He's going to go do JRL, mm. I guess. Mm. I think I would have DCW right there, though. I think I would have done JRL yeah. with Clockworks. Yeah, because even then, you could have gone to like another level to get notes. Although, he, does, he has to get Talent Torpedo, regardless. So, I guess he's just going to go take care of it. Yeah. Steve level behind right now. Has one of his longer goals out of the way, but... Both runners have a lot more to go. Yeah. Steve stopping off for I-Cup notes. Already at 250. So let's see, where are the rest of GDO's Minjo's gonna be? He's got two in Iowa Hags. We'll put him at four, and then he's gotta get seven mm -hmm. more. He'll definitely get swimming baths. Yep. That'll be fine. Because he needs the Cheeto. Uh, Does he get top? Maybe he'll... Uh, it's definitely an option. It's on the way to Smugglers. Uh, He might stop in TDL train station briefly. He's going to go ahead and blow up Smugglers with a blue egg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Steve's gonna go open up the train station switch. Ooh, and he grabs the skill stop. Oh, I guess he wanted one at one health? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he just takes advantage wow. of it. Three bonks in the last like 45 seconds here on Banjo Race. Mm. So does Steve Death Warp here and then go to Cave of Horrors? No. Oh, yes, he goes Steve now. is going to do Teeth with one health. Hmm. He has summoned four doubloons. I don't think GDO is doing Toxic Waste. Steve! Yeah, I guess not. Oh uh, my god! Whoa. Yep. 
Just gonna slowly get through here. There you go. Man. Monkey. <laughs> Mm. How did that not work? What, what the? How? F <laughs> how did the third one not work? What? Mm. Some pretty bad hitboxes. Okay, so now Steve leaves. Oh. No, I think he still has to set up DCW. Mm. Mm hmm. You right. You right. And I guess he wants more notes. Yeah. Uh, does he not want those hunters? Not gonna get that. He's turning hmm. into the van? Might be what he's doing. He's getting this honeycomb too. Hmm. Which I don't agree with. He's getting uh, pack whack. For what? What is he getting pack, pack whack for? Uh, I guess he's getting it for uh, taxi pack? Or no, 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 no. Why is he getting pack whack? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. You don't need it for Terry's kids. Yeah, I don't know why you get pack whack here. Unless he wants hmm. it. He might want it for taxi pack for Terry's kids. Instead of Maybe. doing the grip grab. I yeah. definitely don't think this is worth it, though. Grip grab is no. way less time than coming into this double loading zone. Yeah. And if you were going to come in weird. here, I would have gotten that last honeycomb that he missed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very interesting so choice. Now I'm wondering if Steve is going to do van just for notes. I think Steve is going to gondola DCW and then turn into the van. Yeah. Oh, Nate has a good point, too. He could use it to just pack black jump over to sack pack instead of warping to the entrance that is and a riding good point. the cannon that is a good point you do save double loading zones that way mm -hmm. okay maybe i don't hate it as much press b yeah. you dumbass what the hell is he, <laughs> are you doing okay <laughs> perfect time to use the floatus yeah <laughs> Is GDO turning into the sub? Oh, for Wu Factor. Yeah, he's yeah. got a defect what? God, GDO has to do Wu Fact Fact. Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was too early, I believe, from Steve. Uh. Oh, it was good. Hmm. Yeah, yep. going into the van. van. Steve wants notes. I don't blame <laughs> him. I'd be doing the exact same thing. Yeah. Imagine failing gondola DCW. True, Dango. Who did we see <laughs> fail it just the other day? Failed it seven times in a row. Still won the match. Wow. That's how you know that Alpha drank an entire bottle of Coca-Cola. Is it ever worth it to do Fat Fact without Sub? Probably not. Mm, nah. Does air even tick down? I think, I think even if you have double air, oxygenate the water, I think you're just losing time if you don't do it as the Sub. Yeah. So I was going to say, I imagine air still ticks down when you're fighting Fack Fack. If you don't... If you don't oxygen, water. yeah, it does. Gotcha. I just meant double air for the swim speed. Yeah. Alright, oh, I think Steve's gonna DCW. Terry. Or no, Weldar, Weldar, Weldar. I don't know why I said Terry. Don't go to Terry. <laughs> if you go to Terry, you lose the bingo. <laughs> don't. 
Don't, don't go pull to Terry. Yeah, don't pull a strong stay. Did, yeah, didn't he do that like last tournament? <laughs> Wasn't this one, but the previous one. <laughs> Actually, pretty decent. Uh, he did it in the. Uh, <laughs> he did it in the live and let die bingo or live and let bingo. Tournament. Yeah, yeah, because he had all stuff in GI. Actually, pretty decent uh, boils there for GDO. Yeah. Okay, everybody count with me. Weld our cutscene number one. One. <laughs> yeah, we do get some weld our jams. This bingo. Oh, 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 you hate to see it. Okay, that was fine. Mm. Didn't have to wait for the full turnaround. Yeah. Okay, Wu Fak Fak is defeated. Now the Jiggy must be collected. <laughs> it's six days ago. <laughs> All right. One goal done for each runner. 31 minutes in. Woo! Woo! Nice! <laughs> Guys are popping off. <laughs> Steve can't put on oh. the shoes. <laughs> All right, now GDO gets the DCW to Weldar. Yep. This is Weldar cutscene number two. <laughs> and Weldar cutscene number three. <laughs> one runner's watching the fake cutscene, another one's watching the real one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. They will both be ads times. <laughs> ads time singular. Pardon me. <laughs> oh yeah, because they did like one yeah. round during that. They did one and then it was 11 o'clock and I said, we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we're starting game three at nine o'clock. This was doable. Yeah, true. Okay, both runners have to be very careful that they do not die to Weldar, or their bingo is seriously over. Yeah. Having to open the door is not what they want to do. Yeah. Not what you want to do at all. Especially with all the other stuff they have to do. <laughs> Run into them. There you go. Alright. GDO's turn to start the Weldar fight. Weldar cutscene number four. How much help is Steve at? Steve? Steve! Uh, whoa. Yep, stay in gold feathers. There you go. Whew. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't know that enemy made it back there. Oh, my God. I was getting Xenernicus flashbacks. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, we almost got Weldar cutscene number five. Ah, uh, we wouldn't have seen Weldar cutscene number five. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, Weldar has been defeated by one runner. One Weldar down. Nice. That was a really good egg shot by GDO there. It was like perfectly timed. Yeah. <laughs> perfectly timed on the swallow. Mm -hmm. 
So now what does Steve do? Does Steve do 4-4 four, four early and then grab a bunch of notes? Uh, I guess so. I think you... I think you... Uh... There we go. I think you do 4-4 four, four early split up right by the crushers and then take solo k downstairs and do like everything oh wait you can't take solo k downstairs though you won't you don't they don't they don't have springies oh uh, yeah so they don't have a choice it's either do you stay in gi and get more notes or do you instantly leave hmm. all right Wildar is defeated now we get some great GGM GI music. I love the Western GI. Yeah, I think Steve hopefully does 4 4 early here. Yeah. I just think if you open the front door, you're just losing time. Mm hmm. I think you just want the flight pad activated. He's stopping yeah. for these notes, even though he doesn't have clockworks. Mm -hmm. I never knew you could make that jump. Wow. I didn't either. <laughs> I thought you had to take the grip grab. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't know if these are worth it, but yeah, I guess if you can do that, it's not too early. bad. This is what I was hoping for. Cool. And GDO should do the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's got to grab ninjas. Yeah, and he, well, he needs notes too, but not as desperately as Steve does. Oh, yeah, because he has to have enough for Hatch. Yeah. Yeah, GD is just gonna open the door. He doesn't even want to risk it. Mm. Yeah. I don't hate it though. He's gonna come back with clockworks anyways. Yeah. And he doesn't need to go to floor four. There's only one Minjo up there. Wow. Oh. Huge wow. floor four early from Steve. Oh yeah. He channeled the Aaron. <laughs> he channeled Aaron energy in the call. <laughs> oh, oh, he's, thinking about it. he's thinking about it. He doesn't know if he needs it. He really doesn't need it. He's done here. Mm -hmm. He grabbed all the notes that I think he's going to grab here. Although, uh, actually, I do like this from him, though. Because he's going to have access to... Uh, He's going to have access to the Trouble Clef. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Steve does have two bosses. Thank you. And he's going to get this Minjo. Nice. Oh, Steve is doing more. Hmm. Oh, I don't know if I would come in here for 10 notes. Yeah. A lot of other notes. Wow, he does the peck, too. What a sick guy. Might get this honeycomb, too. Uh, no. No, he doesn't. I don't know what Steve is doing. Yeah. He's going to get a 4-2 for notes, also. But you, if you're going to floor hmm. 2, you have to... I mean, what is he going to do? Warp back to floor 4? I mean, this is super slow. Yeah. This is really, really slow for notes. Man, GDO's just had a lot of bonks. <laughs> I 
Like, where the hell is he gonna go now? Is he just gonna, like, press the back door switch? Hmm. GDO going to PCO. Wait, wait, where is this going? Just to the warp pad? This is what I mean. Steve literally didn't have a choice. He's just going to warp to 4-4 four, four and then walk and then still have to leave the window again. Yeah. I hated that. Mm. I, I hated that a lot. <laughs> hmm. Gio opting for this honeycomb. That, those were a very, very slow 35 notes. Agreed. Yep. Although he will have access to the double clef, but. Yeah, I think GDO might finish up on uh, Honeycombs uh, here. Um, oh my God. I hate that strategy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Nade. I'd rather just get. If you're gonna get your two here, do trash can and pot of gold. Hey, Steve is out of GI. Oops. <clears throat> Especially having to deal with that RNG. Yeah, I, I think if you're getting four honeycombs and you're not doing any in TDL, you're kind of trolling. That was a perfect, yeah, perfect big pile. Yeah, there's definitely think. better honeycombs. Yeah. Oh, that was scary. Uh, that was scary, that was scary too. <laughs> okay. Just grabbing nuts and saving and quitting. No. Going death for GDO is taking the bubble. Okay. I think yep. bubble is slow. Bubble <laughs> is slow. Yeah, honeybee. Yeah, those are good. Um, so yeah, I think now he's just gonna do TDO. So I assume he finishes up in Oaking Cole. Yeah, GDO most likely finishes. Okay. He was checking notes. <laughs> I don't know why he scrolled down, but he was checking notes. Yeah, he's definitely got plenty here. Is he doing Chompa Warp? He's gonna go up and do Chompa Warp, yep. Yeah. Oh, if he doesn't have GGM train yet, then yeah, he's done with Honeycombs. And now Steve's gonna do Chompa Warp. Great, yep, just going up for Taxi Pack. I think Steve is gonna do Minji Ring Rush. I think Klungo 2 is just a tad slower. Mm hmm. Even if you have bad skull and just have to fly to the other one, I think it's probably better than Klunga too. Maybe.
Now, GDO does not have Pack Whack. Steve does. Mm hmm. I'm just curious if Steve is going to swim down for these nets or not. Nope. Nope. It's just 20. I don't think it's the end of the world. I'll chop a warp. He did get GGM trouble. Steve remembering to get rid of first clockwork. Love it. <laughs> Steve has always had the fucking weirdest setup doing this shit. I've never understood it. <laughs> Standing on the split up bed. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Very nice. I think GDO gets it. Yep. Yeah, Steve got it too. Steve, <laughs> Steve does the damage BK strat. And GDO uh, does the pal warp. Yeah. Like everybody else. Everybody does the pow warp. Except for Steve. <laughs> I have never seen anybody do what Steve does. Yeah. Man, we had synced Weldars. Now we have synced Terry's. <laughs> Cole doesn't even do the clockwork warp. Cole does the beak bomb. Yeah. All right. GDO gets guaranteed two cycle. Steve gets the better two cycle. He's got the 14 instead of the 10. Gotcha. So he'll have less mucuses to fight. Less mucoids. <laughs> there you go. Although Steve needs to be careful. He could three cycle a 14. Mm-hmm. You were snotty buddies. Nice. Good Terry's. Good Terry's from both got from both uh, runners. Yeah. That was good. Definitely. Now we got some eggs to hatch. Mm. Oh, I just realized GDO might still get that TDL water honeycomb. So he can get it a solo K. Okay. I don't think after he hatching will, the egg. I don't think he will, though. Mm. I think if he, if he hasn't gotten GGM uh, Honeycomb in the train station. Oh, you're right. Regardless. Yeah. Yeah, because that one's, like, right there. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's literally, like, a one-second detour <laughs> to break up in the box. Mm-hmm. GDO doesn't know where the exit to the nest is. There it is. And Steve is going to the right location. So is, so is GDO. Let's see if both of our runners do the hatching of the eggs correctly. Right now, Steve is on the right path. Mm -hmm. And so is GDO. Oh. And now I don't know what Steve is doing. Oh my God, what is Steve doing? Oh, he's grabbing these notes. 
Why? He already had notes. He's got to get sack pack. He's got plenty of notes to get. Yeah. What is this? What is this? Oh, more notes. Mm. Yeah, I think this is a bad call. You're literally coming right by this area, Solo K, after you hatch your egg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was a bad call. He's going to realize that, too. <laughs> oh! My God, Steve, careful. <laughs> There's GDO with one egg. He will. Dang I mean, he He'll realize it. Yeah. Keep in mind. Yeah, and I was gonna say you should. Keep in mind, it's 3:30 a.m. for Steve. Yeah. Like, that's the <laughs> only excuse I'm gonna give this gameplay. Mhm. Mm yeah, he had said too, like before they started game one, that he was already feeling a bit tired. <laughs> so definitely running off of that kind of energy from your third game of Bingo. It's definitely not going to be the most perfect gameplay. What do we think GDO's last egg is going to be? I think tip top. Because he's got to have another egg. He still has to get his JRL Cheeto pages. Okay, Steve almost death warped there, and that would have been the absolute worst thing to do. Yeah, I, I, it's either tip tap or heggy, and I'm assuming it's gonna be tip tap. Yeah, since got to be in that level anyways. Heggy just seems like a weird detour. Nice. Right. Nice power. Nice. True, Nate. Very true. <laughs> Man. No, I think. I don't think there's any way Steve wins this. No. Cause he's still gotta return the dino. Yeah, Steve has two train rides to do. Mm -hmm. After, after Terry's kids. Yep. And GDO only just has to go and fight Cole. Yeah. Okay. Okay, where's GDO going? Back to JRL? Yeah. Yeah, so GDO has JRL GGM left to go. <laughs> this is over. Yep. Like it's not even close.
Steve, Steve needs 245 more notes. Oh my, oh my god. God. And two train trips, and yeah. <laughs> CC like be for one Menjo, yeah, true. Oh, maybe he's gonna get coal out of the way. Yep. Do that first. Looks like Steve's heading there too. Cool. The problem for Steve is. Wait, did he talk to Dino Mom? Do you have to do that before you can return no, the dino? No, no. Oh, okay. No. Gotcha. You have to talk to Dynamon before you can touch her sick kid. Ah, okay. The other two can be interacted with. I just realized Steve oh, he... hasn't even been to JRL. Yeah. Oh, did he not get the honeycomb? Oh, I thought he was going to. He'll probably get pipe honeycomb with the clockwork then. Mm -hmm. On his way to Toxic. Steve! Don't fucking shoot blue <laughs> eggs, please. <laughs> Well, at least he's not using fire eggs. Yeah. I like Schwanks too. Okay. Oh, okay. GDO got the frame perfect pause on the jiggy grab. Didn't know if he had it or not. That was hilarious. <laughs> God, Steve's train rides are going to kill him. Well, that and the fact that he needs 240 more notes. 240, dude. Yeah. And he's got to go get Shack Pack also. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's going to. Pop into HFP real quick. He still needs some ninjas. Wow. GDL actually reverse swept. Got the 嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。嗯。
I mean, Steve has to do JRL, HFP, CCL. Yeah. And Minji. He's dead, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Steve yeah, hasn't even got these it. notes, dude. Oh my Steve god. Steve is getting plateau notes an hour into the run. <laughs> <gasps> GDO just he lost skew. skew. GDO just lost skew. He's oh, gotta go he's gotta get, get five, five more doubloons, and he doesn't have any nades. Oh my god. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, yeah, he'll just get these four and the one on the thing. Yeah, plenty of spare time still. I'm a man. GDO has got to be freaking out missing that skew. <laughs> He's got to be like. They're gonna pull me in, they're gonna pull me in, they're gonna pull me in. Little does he know, Steve is miles away from finishing. Yeah. Man. It's funny because mathematically, like we said, both rows are valued at 101, but holy cow. Mm -hmm. I think Steve's anti synergy was just incredible. <laughs> Man, that would be so mean. <laughs> I would love to April Fool's GDO and say that Steve won, but then I would feel terrible actually telling Steve he lost. Yeah. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I... I guess GDO will just swim down here after. He still has to get swimming baths and some ninjas. Tell mm -hmm. GDO he missed Lonnie. <laughs> yeah, I really wish he would check his totals. Hopefully he will at the end. Yeah. Thank God I can hear the frickin' honeycomb drop from that ninja because GDO's little slideshow just skipped his death completely. <laughs> Alright, so now he's gotta go down. Steve has a whole extra level to go to still. I mean, it's... I mean, it's completely over. Yeah. That's crazy. So yeah, he'll get this menjo and then do swimming baths. And then Coliseum. And I guess we'll see if he really has collected four honeycombs. Steve's heading to HFP. Too little, too late, unfortunately. Yeah. God, and he still has to do Minji. It's just so AIDS of a row. <laughs> like, it's not enough that he just has to do Sack Pack and be done. He still has to go find Minji and do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
There's yep. his three. GDO is all but wrapped this one up. He's trying to get to a part where he can death warp. Mm hmm. Uh, Last Coliseum. Ninja's Coliseum. Yep. Coliseum, for sure. Oh, it sent him to Toxic Place. <laughs> yeah, not the end of the world. Steve hasn't even learned Shack Pack. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, well yeah, you know, like even if GDO doesn't have all four honeycombs, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I mean he he can literally just go pick up train station. Yeah. And be done. Time. All right. Check the honeycombs. G Check the honeycombs. <laughs> Check the honeycombs. Go to all totals. <laughs> Check the honeycombs. Go to full totals. Check the honeycombs. <laughs> okay. Okay, yep, he's got four. All right, Jeez. GG's. Fucking finally, dude. Oh my goodness. <laughs> GDO reverse sleeps and advances and winners. Oh baby! Oh boy! I with the long delay, I thought I was like, did Steve win? And he's just not pulling us in, like the suspense. I had to yeah. double check that you had four honeycombs because we did not see you pick up a fourth one. Yeah, <laughs> my fourth one was the one in the train station. Okay, that's what gotcha. that's what I thought, but somebody in chat said you did not grab that one. Oh, I didn't grab it the first time around because I knew I'd be coming back yeah. for it with yeah. Cole, and it's faster to grab it with BK yeah. than Mumbo. Yeah. Oh, Steve, what did you do? Didn't time. grab it, Ring Rush. Okay, yeah, I missed that then. I did. Yeah, grab I think it. some of us were like, "Did he grab it?" And we weren't sure, but oh, yeah, I yeah. think I think even though the data doesn't show it, I think Steve picked the worst row on the card. <laughs> oh, did you, did you, I did got you pick oh, F seven? He picked F seven. I got yeah, F seven is definitely the worst row. <laughs> Dude, I, I, got, oh I don't God, know if it is, but it is a okay, bad bro. I was right, looking dude. really hard at F7, and then I was like, nah, F7. And then I looked at F11. F11 looks like Omega Bait. It is the baitiest row I've ever but seen. But it's triple Shack Pack synergy. I, it's still <laughs> five bosses and Sack Pack and what you know, you Shack Pack and whatever. We well, need that. I did F4. F4? Dude, but, I was oh, so torn rushed. between F7 and F4. I got Omega baited by the boss's synergy, and I was like, fuck, Sack Pack with a forced DCW just kills you. Yeah. And with Weldar on top of it, it was like the 20 minutes in, I was like, yep, I'm losing this. There's there's no way you win with a row like this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, um, I thought about... Yeah, I thought about F11 so hard, but I was like, ah, uh, I just, I can't do it. Having to do oil drill and five bosses and sack pack and you need hatch. <laughs> I was like. Yeah, I was thinking about F, uh, uh, F4 really hard as well, like between F7 and F4. Oh, man. F4 was very cutscene heavy. <laughs> yeah, th this one too, especially towards the end with all the train shit. Yeah. Could you guys tell in your commentating booth that I miscounted my ninjas? <laughs> I saw that you were like scrambling to add them all back up again, but see, it was fine. Like hat after I left CCL, I was scrambling so hard to remember what ninjas I got. 
Yeah. Because I couldn't mm. remember. And then when I finally added them all up, I was like, okay, I need five more. But the two in, there's two left in, there was one left in TDL, two left in, or three left in JRL. And I was like, I should have gotten Trash Can Minjo. So I was like, hopefully I can finish up JRL and make it to HFP. So I had to open the bridge late. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. It was oh, good. Man. I mean, it was just like at some point we were like, well, GDO has one level left plus a ninja, and Steve has 260 notes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was I actually, like, I think it's over, guys. Yeah. I think I actually, I think I actually played this role pretty well, but it just was too much yeah, to you, do. Uh, no, your like, routing was fine. Although, yeah. although I personally did not like your GI route. What I mean, would you have done differently? I just think I would have skipped out on those 35 notes and just gone somewhere else. Because I think I think oh. opening up the flight pad and then, like, taking BK down through floor three and two just to yeah. work back up and have to do the great climb again and leave, I just think is really yeah. slow for 35 notes. Honestly, the, the thing is, I sort of failed to, you know, route out my notes early on. And then while I was there, I was like, well, I don't want to under route notes. So I'll just yeah. grab these. <laughs> yeah. If I was doing F7, I would probably grab like the 10 in aircon plant on your way out of Weldar. Yeah. And then probably. Got all probably yeah, yeah. yeah. And I then got... probably just all, all the uh, floor one notes and then grab yeah. the treble on my way out yep. and just skip yep. everything. Yep, about. that's what I was hoping he would do. Yeah. But I, I mean, I got, I got 90 notes in GI, yeah. Yep. Yikes. It yep, happens, was, uh, it happens. Yeah. That was a All mistake. Right. Well, we've been streaming for four hours. It was our first game yep. three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, GDL, you move forward in winner's bracket. You are now guaranteed in the money. Come and you will GDL. move on to face Dango. In yeah, my winners finals. My bingo brothers have all been slain, so I gotta, <laughs> That's right. I gotta pay it forward uh, to I avenge Cup. Alpha and I Cup. I Cup is facing off against Schlongster. Winner of that match will face Steve in losers round three. Thunderstorm right, looking forward versus, to facing Schlongster then. Thunderstorm versus Electric Fortune <laughs> tomorrow. We will see the winner of that one face off against Alpha in Losers Round 3. It's going to be exciting. We're down to the last few couple matches here, guys. It's going to be super, oh, super baby. exciting. Yep. Yeah, in fact, we have exactly wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches left. That's quite a few. Yeah, quite a hot. few, but still should be hot. All right, guys. Well, from all of us here at Banjo Race, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Steven, GDF, for sending it up. Steve, I know it was a shit hour. Thank you for taking the time yeah. to get your, your race done. Aaron, thank you for joining yeah. me today for commentary. Of course. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow night for Thunderstorm versus Electric Fortune. It's going to be hot. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right. We'll see you then.